That's just the THX logo. What's up, everybody? I think some people have no audio copy onto a clipboard for when they join in our chat and just start pasting, pasting, pasting it. Hi, everybody. Hello. Hey, Zexlor. How are you? Um, bring up chat. What's going on, people? What's up? What's happening? So, move you as we were waiting to hop on, Timmy was saying that it's. 25 degrees where he lives, but it's 50 degrees warmer than it was. Is that <laughs> is that real or is that bullshit? Yes, that is real. It was. Well, do you remember last year around this time? It's too bad we weren't streaming a couple nights ago because remember last year around this time is when I took the boiling water and threw it in onto the freezing cold porch right. and like turned it into like snow and ice <laughs> right in front of us. Oh that was God. amazing. Yeah, dude. Yeah. So it, it actually, it, it's been that cold, but now today it's like we're out of the freezer for like two days. I think we go back in on Monday, but uh, yeah. And you know, but the thing is, is so my daughter and I are like, let's go sledding. We step outside. It's still so fucking windy. That's just like instant, just stinging your cheeks. It's like this sucks. Like what, <laughs> what are we doing here? Now um, I have a memory, Timmy, of you being one of those guys, like when it would be a cold day in New York, you would wear like a t-shirt and shorts. Is that right? I, would never, or am I, I was misremembering never shorts. I was never in a shorts and cold guy. You but were I always like in- very underdressed for cold weather, right? Probably just because I wasn't thinking before I hit the door. Because I do that here too. Sometimes it's like, but it's like, or is it because you come cold? from South Fucking Dakota, which is the tundra? Well, right. Well, I mean, and that's one reason why New York's cold wasn't as cold to me. But that's also why right before we started, you know. Uh, Darren was saying that it's like 60 there and you guys feel a little cold. I'm like, you know, I try not to tell people it's not cold when it's not cold to me. Like, if it's cold to you, it's cold to you. You know what I mean? So, uh, but no, and I say that, I know it sounds like weird. Why would you even bring that up? But a lot of people here like to give everyone else in warmer parts of the world shit whenever they complain about the weather. It's like, well, you know, you don't know. I mean, they're not used to like, you know, in January here, it's like negative 15 on average. You know, it's like that's fucking how it is. You know, can last you year I was saying when, it, when it's that cold to me, can you, you like you have to warm up the car for like an hour before well, you yeah, can drive? Especially my, my van has been persistent having problems when it gets cold. You know, power steering fluid is why you don't have to turn the wheel of your car like a fucking ancient wooden ship steering wheel power steering fluid and when it gets cold that stuff expands and so if you start your car and it's like you know more than a few degrees below zero or whatever even then i mean you start your car and just immediately start going it'll just like blast up and like expand and blow out your fucking power steering tube and i've done that like driving down the road shooting and it's bright red liquid just shooting bright red liquid from the bottom of my car out of the snow and then you can't steer it it's literally like an old pirate ship you go ah! you know like getting it to the garage or whatever to get it fixed it sucks so Jesus yeah I, I'm, I'm warming up for a long time <laughs> you know oh it sucks it's it sucks um but you know i was just saying like last year texas around this time of february last year had a um a bad ice storm and a lot of and you know it like shut down what houston or somewhere like fucked up texas for oh, like a shut while. down the whole state dude like yeah. they don't have like a snowmobile or snow plowing machine yeah. sitting around waiting they don't for have snow. they don't have that infrastructure at all and so people yeah. up here you know i mean facebook's always and that's when uh, that piece of shit flew to cabo right and left his yes. dog in a cold house oh, yeah. ted, cruz. Uh, ted cruz right or the super church guy the super wait, church ted guy cruz. did something bad too wait we're, we're yeah. against ted cruz now <laughs> when did this happen no sam you still like ted cruz oh yeah yeah, like. yeah. ted sam, cruz is still- my boy I yeah. mean, right before whenever we stream like up until we hit stream sam's just like ted cruz this ted cruz that he's ted my cruz 2024 did ted you know when ted cruz's gonna... birthday is <laughs> ted but cruz is gonna like, run for president one day oh god oh he did didn't he but people up here were like oh Texas is not that cold i'm like you know what why don't you at one time when i i shot a friend's indie movie 
in San Antonio in like July. It's like, why don't you go to Texas in July and like f try to like function at all? You know what I mean? It's like the temperature stuff is different everywhere, you know? So, but uh, yeah, it's like, it was like, so negative. can people just like not like have that. a Tesla where you live? There are charging stations. No, no, Here I mean, because of the temperature. Oh, because uh, like, you know, there was that big, uh, I don't know if you guys saw in the news, like in Virginia, like near DC, 95 froze over and, and like all these cars were like stuck for yeah. a day. Yeah. For a long, or long more. time. And like people with Tesla's, like they were the most fucked because their batteries drain like super fast in cold weather. And Tesla people were like getting out, like knocking on the cabs of trucks and be like, do you Seriously? have supplies? And like, oh my yeah. God. Yeah. Um, I didn't uh, know that. there's I mean, like, says, you have three days of heat in a Tesla. No, you don't. Well, not if you're <laughs> also driving. You yeah. know, and it depends. Yeah. I mean, it's not like these people that everyone got stuck in that accident. It's not like everyone filled their tank or charged their battery hole and brought a bunch of food and water. They thought they were just going to fucking work or something, you know? So maybe the Tesla was only halfway charged up when it happened, you know? Yeah. Um, um, but no, I don't know. Wait, wait, I, I gotta ask. Test Pestabot says, Darren, be honest. Did you poison the queen? Is the queen sick? Oh, is she sick? I don't know. Isn't there some news about the queen? I feel like she was in the paper. She's like about to die or something. Am I wrong? Well, no, she she got she's the anniversary, some anniversary 70th year on the throne or something like that. That's all that I heard. In a headline. Um, what's it make I never heard any poisoning. 90 so people don't talk about the queen out there all the time? <laughs> Not to no, Darren. not really. Not to Darren. <laughs> Come here. I must tell you about they the queen. They get quiet when he walks into a room. Hey, lovely <laughs> boy. Come here. <laughs> so. Um, what's up, Chad? It's good to see everybody. How is hey. it? Hey. Been a long time, right? When was the last time we did this? Darren said, not my queen. Right after <laughs> Halloween. My it was like the week after wow. Halloween. Wow. Holy so shit. it's been, it's been a while. good two months, probably. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, um, dude. Is, is Sam quiet to you guys? I can barely hear Sam. Okay. For yeah, he's pretty room. quiet. To okay. me. Holy I don't shit, know how uh, he is to chat. I can I I can start doing donos. I'm looking at him and there's already some honkers. Some oh, do it. Guys. Do the donuts. Okay. Um UP Rocks donated ten bucks. I saw you guys on the on the flogging Molly tour in Houghton, Michigan. One bit you did was trying to get chicks to flash you. Did it ever work out for you? I think we told this story, but I I don't think it did, but a guy did show us his asshole at one point, right? Yeah, and to be fair, we should just say, it wasn't that we were trying to get chicks to flash us. Right. We started by playing up the scumbag, show us tits, but then we were like, all right, now, fellas, show us your buttholes, right? right. And it was like, we, we want to see, out. we want to look out and see a forest of buttholes. And like, obviously. That was for me. That was for me. I love buttholes. <laughs> it was, we would turn around and we would count to 10 or something like that. And yeah, I that's remember. Like that, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're nice. God damn, we're gonna jump around. I want to see a forest yeah. of buttholes. Yeah. yeah. Oh god. And a dip. We said it, it, I think it was forest of buttholes, ocean. I think someone said ocean of dicks, because at one point they're trying to get like, dude, show us your dicks. <laughs> oh, that was Michigan was the show that we were on the UP. The upper oh, peninsula. Yeah. And we woke up on the bus in the parking lot and we went to a tailgating party, didn't we say? Yeah, yeah. Like I I, like, I don't think I was there for No, that. I rolled I remember that. I rolled, you guys were I woke about up. Old. Stepped off the you know, like you wake up and you're like, Where are we? You step off the uh the bus and we're like right across from a tailgating party where they're doing like uh beer bombs or what yeah, you know, the football funnels. game or something. Yeah, yeah. And they were like, You wanna do one? And I was like, sure. Yeah, it's like fucking breakfast. Yeah, I was like, yeah, sure. I went in Rome. Yeah, and then uh, later that night, those guys were like, "You should come party with us." And so later that night, I think we tried to go to where their party was, or maybe you and Josh did. I can't remember if I went or not. But they like didn't remember who we were. <laughs> didn't remember telling us to come to the party. And let me burn through these donos real quick. Yeah, dude, there's some big ones. Go for it. Juicy Meat Sword donated 25 bucks. Says any sexy movie updates? Yes, and I think our director Savan will be on later, right? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, maybe. He's, well, he's he might be. be. Register your homestead. Donated 25. Says since you guys been busy, I fall into a deep dark hot tub Twitch stream hole. Thanks for showing me rock bottom, guys. Sorry about that, dude. Mr. <laughs> and Mrs. donated $500. Thank you, Mr. and Mrs. My God. It says, we wow. recently got married. We went on a two-week road trip for our honeymoon, and we all listened, and all we listened to was old self sucks. Love you guys, and thanks oh. for the last. Thank you so wow. much. That's really sweet. 
Thank you. Hold on and hang on. My buddy donated 10, says at the airport trying to go home, but listening to you guys makes the time fly by. Love your faces. Oh, that's a great joke. We should that's steal funny. that. Yes, we should. Bubble Bloop donated 25, says this is for Timmy's igloo. Fuck's that mean? I think just saying that it's cold here. All right. You haven't been building an igloo, right? Because no, I would no. be so fucking no, I, I wouldn't go out. I, you can't do anything outside. I'm not going outside. Ugh. Sam <laughs> Rules Ann donated a hundred bucks and says last of the Christmas money to Mars WK for life. And now Sam Rules Ann, I noticed Sam missed it, but he donated a hundred three days ago and a hundred a week before that. So my friend, oh. thank very you very cool. much. Uh, very it is cool. appreciated and, and noticed. Uh, Peyton on donated 20 says when I discovered you guys last July, I marathoned your sketches until 5 a.m. And then I saw chocolate cookie dough rope and I realized I was done for the night. That's that's the one that broke them. <laughs> the, the poop well, rope? that sketch is actually called hot air balloon poop rope, not yeah. chocolate yeah. cookie yeah. dough rope. Or so I know. Our, our costumer called out in season one. He referred to it as bicycle poop race by accident at one point. Remember that? You know what? <laughs> that's not going to work for us. Graham Chapman. Wow, guys, Graham Chapman donated Ooh. 50 bucks. Yeah. So my best friend got mad at me for sniffing his sister's panties while the, while they were on her. Don't know if he was more mad that I did it in front of him or his whole family, but it just made his sister's funeral way more awkward. Love you guys. Well, that's a sentence I'll never get back. Uh, <laughs> thanks for the 50 and shame on you for making me read. Uh, yeah, you guys don't just copy and paste like deep thought stuff on here. Like, to come on. Fucking come on. Graham Chapman would never do that. Graham Chapman yeah. would write hey, something he's been funny dead for that. 30 years. Maybe a little rusty, you know? Yeah. It's fun. Hey, no, I, I wonder if that person was like, was like, this is my chance. Trevor's gone. I want to be the new they Trevor. They're going to think this is this fucking is, so This good. is my it's shot. Dark. It's funny. Let's go. Send 50 bucks. Come on now. And then we just what? shit all yeah. over. Your eyes were still oh. assholes. Oh. Oh. They were mean. I gave them money and they were mean. 50 bucks. I gave them money and they were mean. Thumbs it up. Sorry. Sorry, bro. Graham Chapman. I think I wouldn't have been as mean if you hadn't called yourself Graham Chapman. I think I think that primed the pump for, for like, all right, you want to come... Whatever. Uh, Peyton I donated 20. Says, when I discovered you guys last July, I marathon... Oh, wait, wait, wait. I re we read that. My pills are missing. Donated. Says, hey guys, happy New Year's. Hope all's pretty chill. Question for Darren. Have you seen your neighbor ever around the inside with people that look around some sizes bigger than others? But if you consider it that way, it is more likely that sometimes we do. You son of a bitch. Now that is the new Trevor. Now that's good. That's, that's fucking good. good. Every time they do that, it's it's not always the same person, right? There's like a lot of people do that. I right? don't know if it's the same person who just turns them. Yeah. Is that an what? autocorrect thing? Is that what they're doing? They're doing autofill? Oh, is that what it is? Or are they just writing grammatically insane insane shit for me to read? Yeah, I think, I think it's myself. intentional. I like to think that uh, well, it's I know, intentional. but I, is it autofill? No, I know no. it's intentional, but I'm saying maybe you can just you know, you can look at your phone and just keep tapping whatever the suggestions right. are. To make Wait, I want to read this move. again. I want to read this again. Sorry. Hey guys, happy New Year's. Hope it's been pretty chill. Question for Darren. So far, that's all written. Definitely. Right. Yeah. Have yeah. you seen your neighbor ever around the inside with people that look around some sizes bigger than others? It has to be autofill. Yeah, but if you, you know consider it that way, is it more likely sometimes we do? Good. That's got to be how they do it, right? It's got to be. Uh, <laughs> I can't see chat anymore, so I have no idea what people are saying. Oh, yeah, I haven't been looking because I'm... Uh, Dare Bear says, Sam, I know you used to teach sketch writing classes in L.A. Is that something you still do? I'd love the chance to train with a master. Love you all to Mars. <laughs> oh, you say, be, Sam? you'd be so disappointed. I might I might do uh, like an online session or something soon. Uh, not, nothing, nothing set in stone, but, uh, you know, um, I'll definitely mention it when it happens. <laughs> Ryawaska91 donated 50 bucks. Thanks, man. Yeah. Says, Zach, I hope your horror movie is coming along well. I can't wait to see it. Can you drop any intel? P.S. My wife's username is Craiger is Daddy, and she wants to fuck you. I'm kind of jealous, but it's all right with me. She can bang a god. Now, I don't think that was autofill. I think that was just pure <laughs> logic, intention. <laughs> purpose logic um, oh, man my phone's always trying to fuck you and i just autofill text it's always like <laughs> what about zach's dick it's like dude i'm talking to my mom god oh my god um the horror movie is coming along well we're still in post these things take time 
but yeah it's going well is it is um, it like is it really really scary i think it's pretty scary it's scary so yeah. we did our first you know we did our first at the end of december i haven't i'll share this with everybody we did our first mall screening you know so like disney mm. basically rents out a big 250 theater down in long beach so you're like outside of la and um they uh you show the movie and then everyone stays around and does like a scoring and a in a focus group and stuff like that and um uh it went well and uh People thought it was very suspenseful, could have been a little bit scarier. So since then we've done a re-edit where we're really punching the scares up, but like it went well, people liked it. I'm very, very happy with it. We're on some cuts where you just go, boo, like that. Just like, <laughs> Yeah. I think um, when you're ready, we should do a, a screening where Darren's daughters and my daughters, wa- my daughter watches it, just them. We leave them alone to watch it and let them get scared at it. Now, would you let your daughter watch a movie where there's full frontal nudity? Uh, there is not. I mean, right. There is. I mean, if I remember in your script, Fire there's frontal nudity that is not sexy, right? It's it is not, not sexy nudity. It is, it not is sexy. I, I decidedly unsexy. Yeah. <laughs> Unless Sam, Sam saw a rough cut. Oh, I was Sam, would you on. say it's, yeah. yeah, you, you were, you were shooting yeah. all over the place. <laughs> yeah. I got um, kicked out. <laughs> They're like, sir, you can't jizz this much. You can jizz <laughs> once or twice. You cannot jizz sure. this much. Nobody yeah. jizzes that much. The bathroom is over there, sir. They're like, Everybody else here jizzed once, okay? <laughs> and that's fine. <laughs> but you are taking it to a level. <laughs> what happened in there? I thought I thought all these people were invited. Yeah, that's <laughs> Sam. <laughs> oh, jeez. Um, that's funny. Right. Let me let me pull the fucking chat back up. So There's like, a when, lot when, of I don't have a question. I have another question for Zach. So when they're when they say like it could have been a little bit more scarier, is that like okay? Well, we gotta like like Timmy had like the boo. Like is do you have to have? Yeah, more I think of that? that. Yeah, I think that we gotta punch up the. There's a lot of scary scenes, but I think that like they could have just been tweaked. I think that like horror is so similar to comedy in that it's all about like timing and rhythm and and you know that kind of and and tone expectations. And so like the music and the the edit is just so so precise and so some of the jumps and shit like that I don't think landed as hard as they could but but you know um but that's why you do those screens. So, and yeah, that's like, why you do them. And it's like comedy because you sit there and you go we need more cum in this. There's not enough cum. Exactly. Exactly. Um but I'm excited. I'm excited to. That's to great, show. man. I can't wait to see it. I can't wait to show you. Stoked, stoked, stoked. Chat just said there's uh, a new scream this week. Oh, oh there yeah. is a new scream yeah, there's this a new week. Scream Actually, this week. And they decided to release what? it in January, which means it's going to be awesome. <laughs> well, what do you mean? I mean, I, I feel like with COVID, all the like yeah. the calendar for releases means nothing anymore. I mean, know? still, if it was I, I halfway think, um, good, they would release it like. In September, at least, you know. I think that started changing before COVID, though, too, because like February became a big month for movies. Well, yeah, too. but like I think that's s- like Black Panther and Us and that Wolverine movie, like a bunch of stuff. Or not Us. Um, Still, January is the toilet of the movie calendar. Yeah, there's been some big January hits though every once in a while, so maybe that's what they're thinking. What? I don't know, but I know I, I knew you were gonna say that. Uh, there's one that I'm thinking Perfect. of. I can't fucking figure it out. I'll, I will look it up. I'm stirring my little TV dinner right now, but I'll look it up and I'll figure it out. Timmy, what's your TV dinner? What are you eating? Uh, just beef and broccoli from Lean Cuisine. What are we talking? Oh yeah, it is actually. I just picked. I just grabbed it. I'm not like doing anything about food right now, but I just didn't want to feel like cooking, and I grabbed that. So. But yes, that is what it is. Uh, somebody in chat said we should start a horror troop, which I thought was really funny. Ooh. Now that's interesting. Has there ever been a horror troop? Well, let's I don't know. see. The Manson well, family. What would it be? So it'd, be a group of people. it'd be a group of people that make a bunch of horror movies together a lot, right? Yeah. Or you go, could you or do like horror, horror live shows? Horror sketches? Oh, that's horror sounds could you do could you do horror sketches? You kind of could. There's one I saw There's an amazing horror there. sketch actually. Uh, God, let's see if I can find it. But like a whole horror sketch show? That sounds... like Or like, oh, you, like, I was thinking live. <laughs> I don't think we're talking about being funny. We're no, just talking I, about I don't think you could do a live horror. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, right. Because so. what do you jump out of stage yeah. like, you know? Yeah. Although that everybody. would be so interesting to watch. I would definitely go to one. Like VHS, people are saying. Like, it's all horror shorts. Yeah, those are shorts. 
But those I mean, are the same people. You know, what if you're what if you're talking about like some kind of group of like, I don't know, five, ten people who I thought VHS I, I was different like people. Huh? What? Isn't VHS an anthology? Like, like it's That's different what I'm saying. people. It's but... not made by. A I'm saying like a. Uh -oh. If you had a horror group, like a sketch group, it'd be the same people making everything. VHS is like you know, ten, it's American ten American Horror Story is like not the sketch version, but like. It, that's the, that thing blown up. Right. It's the same people it's Ryan making Murphy, Ryan, that a guy's season name, and then of a horror got, show. Right, and then it's always the same cast, right? Or right. very close to the same cast. But I think on my Vimeo, I think I have a horror sketch that's really awesome, and if I can find it, we should watch it. Oh, really? Someone said, are you afraid of the dark? <laughs> that was oh, a I guess like a horror yeah. sketch is just like it's a horror short film. Yeah. Right. Not really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, someone says Tim and Eric's bedtime story. So that was like oh horror yeah. Comedy, Although it's not right? really scary. It's not even. It was, it's not like they're trying to be scary. It was still so fun. I do right? love that show. I've never seen it. I've always meant to get around to it. I showed oh, my Tim daughter. It's not Jackie movie. Chan, and she loves that so much. It's not Jackie Chan. Do you guys remember how much we used to watch that at like writing meetings and stuff? Yeah. Jackie Chan? Chan? The Tim and it's Eric not sketch. Jackie Chan, the Tim and Eric sketch where the guy holds the buzzer for too long at the oh. end and stares at the camera. <laughs> I, I want to watch that so bad. Can we watch so that? Funny. Can we pull that up? Yeah. I can't find it. <laughs> that had me okay. in tears. Yeah. yeah that's so, a good one. So we would watch it like 10 times. It's so fun. We're just, we're just pulling, pulling up stuff now? Sure. Um, so is Savan joining us and is Savan going to bring a clip if he does join us? I feel like we should show a clip yet. I feel like we should watch it. Down. I don't know. Like, I, I think we should hold off on showing, showing you shown any there. clips in the, and I missed them. No, no, really no. no. Okay. I didn't know if we were doing that or not. I think, well, uh... I agree not doing it yet tonight, but uh, I feel like we're probably getting damn close to being able to show something, right? Probably. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I don't know. We should talk about it. Is it fully funded now? Good question. Where anyone? I where think we're we closing in. I think we're making progress, but I think we, we might have even hit the, the thing on the jug, but there have been added expenses like taxes and then some music stuff and things that have kind of gone above. So, um... Yeah. I think, Same I think we're one of the characters to always have Beatles music when he walks out. And right, so right, right. Yeah. 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 Uh, Ooh, one leaf left says that. Can we expect a revival of Collective Souls for Elden Ring next month? Yeah, dude, I am so excited for Elden Ring. Yes, you can. I will 100% be streaming some Elden Ring. I am pumped, dude. I've been playing this game. Yeah. Timmy, I wonder if you would like this game. I've been playing this game Disco Elysium. Do you know that one? I've heard of it. Never tried it. It's a role playing game, like in the truest sense, like rolling dice for stats and like blah, blah, sure. blah. Um, but it's crazy complicated and I'm getting frustrated with it, but I do like it. But anyway, I've always meant to give it a shot. Yeah. People it's are a video game or it's a, yeah. it's a, it's a video game. game. Yeah. Great. Yeah. People are loving it in the chat. Disco Elysium. Yeah, it's really good. I just I get a little like you have to read so much. It's like this alternate world with its own yeah. politics and race relations and yeah. you're just reading and learning and learning and learning and it gets it gets tough i was playing a game um, similar called torment tides of numenar or something like that that was similar and i got it because a dude that i know like made it and uh but yeah it's it's those kind of games it's like it could be fun but for me it's like i need to sit and play you know yeah. and it's like I don't, I don't feel like i have enough time to do that you know so yeah I, yeah. I've been playing Skyrim again. They put out an anniversary edition with some mods and stuff, and my daughter and I have been having a blast playing Skyrim oh, that's again. That's cool. Yeah. Ronjina, oh, what up, dude? I see Ronjina in there. Ron. Um, yeah, what <laughs> else? What, what else is going on? Sam just sent a link for us to watch that video together, by the way. Oh, oh. is it in the. the uh, where's the link? The, the emails. I just got oh, an email. Uh, oh, oh, an email. Okay. An electronic letter. Yeah. Not a, How was everybody's not uh, holidays? Anybody get any good Christmas swag? Yeah. Any good gifts? Got a cool keyboard. I didn't get any. You got a cool keyboard? Like yeah. music keyboard? Yeah. Chill. This thing. Ooh. Whoa, that looks dope. It's not super huge either. Cool. No, yeah, it's nice because I can keep it like 
around my desk and it's handy um also cool. oh i found the video i was looking for okay sorry unrelated also um i made one of the things i did today because i thought I, I would be like you know a nice nice thing if i made a zucchini boys theme song oh you sound so excited about it no i was doing too many things at once but no i am definitely excited <laughs> to hear it. yeah 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 I'm always excited for oh. that. You know? well, oh, I was trying to think, like, oh, oh, my, no. my mind started That's going, cool. oh, cool. Oh, is it just going to be insults? That's where I'm reminding <laughs> that was like, oh, cool. Oh, what would that out. be? What, what would that, would that be? Out. The insulting zucchinis boys. <laughs> I don't know. Fat is always easy. I'm getting fat. He's fat. fat. He can't uh, cook shit. What a fat piece, piece of shit. Steam is too dirty. He's a fat piece of shit. too dirty. Uh, so we just said that was the sound of a kid opening socks for Christmas. <laughs> yeah. Guilty. <laughs> oh. But Sam, uh, it's flattering, and I, I'm excited to hear it. So. All right. Oh! That oh! Oh! oh. Should, should we oh. watch a Tim and Eric sketch? Yes. I love Tim and Eric. So. All right. It's still so yes, hot. Please. I can spur my tongue. The category is arts and entertainment. And it's not Jackie Chan. Um, is it... Is that Dr. Like... Oh, uh, Kelsey Grammer. Uh, not even close. Timmy just um, I'm trying to get And it's not Jackie Chan. We got so much going um, on. It's going on. Is it... The guy from Cheers? Oh, uh, Kelsey Grammer. Uh, not even close. Edgar Allan Poe. Why did you get one right? It's not Jackie Chan. <laughs> the award-winning new trivia challenge from Cinco Games. Speed round. Name ten things that aren't Jackie Chan. Toothpaste. Pizza. Lamps. Jackie Chan. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Good. God, did you even watch show. that? I feel like that was right up your alley, and you're not even reacting. Hey, I, I didn't get it. Oh, oh you didn't get it? No. This fucking system is it. bullshit of well, watching videos. Darren, on this stupid I sent you website. an email. I know. I'm trying to open it, dude. Mm. You can't open the email I sent. I feel like that's your problem. So the guy that looks. Oh, yeah, it is my problem. <laughs> the guy that looks at the camera. I got a bunch of shit open. Well, I guess I'm now it's all of our problems, isn't it, guys? Because oh, now we all look like fucking idiots. Was it fun? That was going to happen eventually. It was great. It was, it was great. great. It was fucking amazing. God, I, I it was couldn't so be more upset. You know, here's I'll how my brain works. It's like, I watch that and I watch the way that guy at the end is so funny looking at the camera and frowning. And I just immediately think, like, that guy should be fucking famous for that. Why is he famous for that? You know what I mean? Like, I just, that, it just, to me, it's just like, that's just so perfect. You know? Those guys are awesome. Zach just hates Fiesta. Yes, that's what I'm saying. Thank you for putting, rephrasing that. Yes. Um, uh, Well, I want to show this other video. Should we do it with Fiesta or is that? uh, Yeah, uh, I mean, if Darren can get in there. I don't know. I don't know if Darren can. I'm uh, I will go to the of the internet. <laughs> there it is. There it is. Um, oh, well, we'll talk about something else. Let me see if I can figure some right. shit out. Talk amongst yourselves. All right, I got. Uh, I didn't get. A, I didn't get a lot. I got new slippers, and I got like a flat metal thing for cooking. It's like a, like a spatula only thinner. Do you still do, call it a spatula? Do you want to hear hear the song? Yes, yes, the song. Oh, I thought you were gonna write it on the show. No, no, I made it for the like you know. You already made it. Yeah. Um, I do think this. It's gonna be easier for me to just play it through the stream. Discord. Yeah, just do that. And, uh, like, the stream's gonna be able to hear, but you won't hear unless you listen to the stream, okay? Oh, sweet lord. 
Ready? I need to look. I need to pull up the stream to hear it. I can do it. Hit me, baby. I think that's a winner you know what i loved about what just happened is like first of all the song's hilarious yeah, and yeah. awesome and then all the way through it's just timmy just like i can't i can't hear it i can't i, I, no, I, can't hear I, my God, I, I got nothing i can't hear this <laughs> i feel like you should probably put the audio of me doing that over the music yeah yeah, yeah. i'll just you really should it's just like the, I, guys from I can't the hear stream it. I, I, nothing I can't is it, nothing is more me than um, i'll email it to you Timmy. <laughs> what Huh? I'll email it to you so you can. Wait, let me yeah. let me do some more donos here, guys. I'm, sorry, the, uh, I'm still on my laptop, despite despite efforts. I'm still on the laptop yeah, right yeah. now. So, um, um, due to scumbags. So you can you can let listen me, to let me some do other these donos time. real quick. Yeah. All right. Crit critical moment. Donated fifty bucks. Says while working while waiting for SSS to come back, I've taken up welding and have accidentally burned my penis, feet, and eyelids. I'm so glad you're all back. Oh no. Okay. Um. Christmas 54321 donated says the gibberish dono was my fiance. That message was actually straight off his dome. Is that a talent? Love you guys. Oh, that's yeah. yeah. That's a talent. That's what Nick I thought. Nick Rock Lobster donated says, Zach, you like my post on Metamorphosis of Prime Intellect? Just finished it. Great book. You should still try to get the rights. I keep picturing Darren as a human form of PI. Of PI. Uh, also, tell Sarah Cheap Thrills is awesome and underrated. Love you guys. I will, I will pass it on. Um, yeah, Chief Thrills is a movie my wife is in, and uh, it's pretty great. Uh, Ospitra donated $23.71 and says, Oh, also, Zach, you should definitely check out, you should definitely guest on QAnon Anonymous. They just did a whole episode on Christian haunted houses that try to convert teenagers. You could learn something about what's actually scary. Wow. Um, Hell Houses, I, I went to one. I love Hell Houses. Yeah, I've been to, I've been to them, too. Um, I love QAnon Anonymous. I still listen to that podcast. Uh, Grim Word donated 25 says, I discovered you guys in the show on YouTube last year, and I'm now going through the, the VODs. Thank you for providing much needed joy. And if you make it to London one day in the future, when safe, I'll buy a round of drinks. Darren lives in London. How convenient. I'm coming Darren, over. You got to cash in on those drinks, bro. Yeah. I will. Get some mocktails. JSBXFN says, <laughs> Glad to see the boys back together again. Love the whitest kids streams and your faces. Stay safe and keep streaming to Mars. Quattlebot, I like that name. Donated, said, love you guys so much. Love you too. Infraud, thank you very much. Teddy Roosevelt's cum stash donated 50 bucks. Says, will Sam streaming the Super Bowl again? I think they mean, will Sam be streaming the Super Bowl again? But we can't know. be sure. I, yeah. I, I mean, do I don't know if that's I'll what they mean. Like I'm yeah, down we'll to never do know. it. Did you show, you streamed during the Super Bowl, did you show the Super Bowl? Can you do that? I think I, I, I had the, the clock up. I was watching it with the clock on, not showing the, the, the thing. So if you wanted to, to like sync up and watch it with me, you could watch it. I remember oh, watching the Super Bowl at Trevor and Timmy's apartment, and I remember we were like writing sketches. So we were like doing, a, we're writing while like, in the bedroom, in Trevor's bedroom, we were writing on his computer, but people were kind of going in and out from the living room watching the Super Bowl. And I remember I was at the computer typing. I was the only one in Trevor's room. Everyone else was out in the, uh, in, in the living room. And you guys all went like, oh, during the halftime show. I was like, what? And they were like, Justin Timberlake just grabbed Janet Jackson, ripped her, her clothes off, and her boob came out. And I was like, shut the f 
fuck up. And I was like, oh, yes, it did. I, I like miss it. I was like so pissed that I like missed it. Do you know what was history? Was amazing. That was history. Do you know what was amazing for that for me was uh, I was, you know, in the room with everyone and we're watching it and we're making jokes. We're like, oh, yeah. Isn't that lady's brother a pedophile? Uh, And (laughs) I like turned back to make a joke and everyone went (laughs) (laughs) and when I turned back to the TV, they'd cut away. (laughs) So you're making other jokes. And yeah. then you missed the nipple shot. I think I, I thought for a moment that you guys were like fucking with me, you know, because it's such an insane thing to say. But, um, but yeah, I saw I saw it, ha- it happened again at New Year's, uh, <laughs> and I saw that happen live. What do you mean it happened again? Uh, Justin Timberlake, like, yeah, <laughs> he grabbed Hannah Jackson again. She's like coming out of a restaurant, and he like got out of a car and <laughs> yeah. ripped her clothes. It was really off. fucked up. It was, it was really yeah. fucked up. <laughs> But whatever, Miley Cyrus was doing a, a a New Year's special, and like at midnight on New Year's, her top like fell off, and she she had this like very small top in the first place, and she had to like hold it on like this, and then go backstage, and someone threw a jacket on her, and she came out with like no top and just a jacket. Mm. Uh-huh. It was so sexy, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Well, was she going I've like this? Though? Was she like, kind of like that? It happens. It's like, was that yeah. manufactured? Ah. You know, my tits came out. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but your tongue, 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 tongue in your mouth. <laughs> um, somebody says Miley Cyrus planned that. Well, we just don't know, do we? My what, what movie is that? There's some Coen Brothers movie. Well, we just don't know, do we? What the fuck is that? Oh, I don't know. They're watching all the Coen Brothers. That's a serious man that's burn after reading. Uh, it's not burn after reading. It is. It's like, well, don't know. Well, what, what did we it's all Big learn? Lebowski. I think it's, um, that is our concern, dude. Is it that? Yeah, Somebody yeah, yeah. knows. Come on, guys. What the fuck am I, I trying to right. think? I'm doing a, I've, I've been conducting a watch through of all their movies in release order. And that's the one I, that's the next one for me is Big Lebowski. So I don't remember, but it wasn't in the older ones as far as I know. The only Coen Brothers movie that I don't fucking love is Hudsucker Proxy. Yeah, that's mine so far. You know what I also watched as like a little offshoot is anyone else ever seen Crime Wave? Yes, in fact, I was watching it last month. What'd you think and about you can, it? It's terrible. And you can see yeah. Joel and Ethan in the jail doing the thing, which is yes, pretty cool. The well, here's the thing. What's Crime Wave? I think it's, Sam it's a movie that Joel and Ethan movie. wrote with Sam Raimi and Sam Raimi directed it. And it's like a crime comedy. And yeah, it's it's terrible. In it? There's moments. I of think brilliance. I just like watched the, the no, trailer of this. The security office with all the different doors, mm-hmm. and then that, that scene's awesome. That's cool. And there's yeah. really great stuff in it, but it's generally terrible. It, and what's crazy about it is, so they made that movie, and it tanked, and you know it, it was terrible, well poorly received, whatever. So the next film that Sam Raimi made was Evil Dead Two, and the next yeah. film that the Coens made was Raising Arizona. So it's like. They got all that shittiness out of their system and made yeah. two of their best films. You know, it's, like, it's crazy that Coen Brothers had already made Blood Simple before yeah. they went and worked on Crime Wave. That's it crazy. was their first movie. Well, I think Crime Wave might have been an older script, there, too. There yeah, was yeah, a, yeah. A, a, a Sterling Hayden movie called Crime Wave that Charles Bronson was in, and that's on uh, Criterion right now, and that's why I was thinking. Oh. Uh, Samantha, Samantha Sparag- Sparagna says, Darren, why are you so cute? Or quiet. Why are you so quiet? Oh, I'm trying to, I'm so trying to make quiet. the most of these typos. I'm so cute. Quite cute, cute, quiet. Who knows what they're fucking trying to say? Darren, why are I you so cute? I these fine gentlemen talk about film. I mean, come on. <laughs> Get out of his ass. Yeah, I'm trying to <laughs> learn um, something. Yeah. yeah. I'm film my... Uh, I, bet I introduced my daughter to the Mission Impossible series, and she's into it. She oh. she's, she gets worried about Tom Cruise, though. <laughs> she's worried about Tom Cruise. Like, like, we're all worried about today. Tom Cruise. Yeah. She's right. very perceptive. Yeah. She's we're like, watching... if he keeps on making these movies, he's gonna die one day. <laughs> right. We're watching Mission Impossible three, and we got to like the very end, 
when he's it, he's got a bomb in his head. The bad guy puts a bomb in his head, right? Yeah. And it was like 10 minutes till the end, and, and it was getting close to bedtime, but I was like, we got to stop. I'm like, are you sure? I'll let you stay up a little bit to finish it. Nah, nah, nah. And like we watched it the next day. She, she was worried he was like his character was going to die. And I was like, yeah, she hasn't seen very many movies yet. <laughs> it's so funny. I remember my mom telling me, my mom is like super religious and has actually mellowed out a lot later in life. But like when I was in high school, she was like very fucking religious. And but she loved that show NYPD Blue, which is like kind of crazy because it was a very edgy show for network TV. It was like oh, yeah, rape, they showed butts. and it was like yeah, they showed, they showed ass. They showed uh, Dennis Dennis Franz's ass. Dennis Franz was awesome. But I remember yeah. her telling me like she sometimes she'd wake up in the night and she'd be so stressed out from NYPD Blue that she would like pray for the characters for the characters. <laughs> I would be like, Mom, what the f- what are you doing? She'd be like, It just makes me feel better. It's <laughs> just like praying for like. That's crazy. It's crazy. I mean, well, I a lot of people pray to Jesus. You know, religion's for you, yeah, not for right. other people. Like, you know, right. belief, that's that's your deal. Once you start feeling responsible for the way other people, self-conscious about your, your spirituality, yeah. you've already lost. Uh, tonight we were watching uh, Guardians of the Galaxy um, with my daughters. And mm-hmm. my eight-year-old, like, when at the end, when he, he reaches out and he touches the Infinity Stone and he, like, starts dying, the Chris Pratt character... Like, she's like, this is great. This is great. The main character is going to die. The main character is going to die. Like, we watch movies where the main character is about to die, Mom. Like, she she totally, like, had a breakdown. (laughs) We're just like, just wait. Just wait a second. What if you were just like, shut the fuck (laughs) up? Yeah. (laughs) Have you never seen a movie? Yeah. (laughs) Idiot. (laughs) What's wrong with you? Yeah. Honestly, she's never seen like a, a movie like a Marvel movie or anything like yeah. that. Mm-hmm. So all the yeah. movies she watches, like no one's ever in any danger. <laughs> you should. <laughs> yeah. Oh, perfect. Okay. Well, that's should... what's funny, you know. To me, it's like. So Whatever your kid, whatever you think your kid can handle, if you watch it with them, you'll be fine. And what's funny is when people like always default to showing their kids Disney movies. It's like every Disney movie is about dead parents. It's just all dead parents. Yeah. Really dead crazy. parents, dead parents, dead parents. <laughs> what would be Darren, what you know what you should do? do? Yeah. Is, is be what like, listen, like sometimes in movies, like like main characters, they'll be, you know, like in in dangerous situations, but they, you know, they pull it out. They 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 make it through and that's what makes it fun and then show her million dollar baby <laughs> that's what I was gonna ask like what's the movie that he could show his daughter that would do the most damage somebody in right, chat said yeah. old yeller that would be a good one old yeller old yeah I just I mean a Serbian film for anybody right um but uh pusher films yeah that'd be good the the pusher pusher movies? Oh, I love the pusher trilogy I've never seen them I always wanted to they're so good them. I was watching. Is it really, really a trilogy, four. though? Is it really like it's it's linked? Yeah. Those three yeah. movies are linked. Yeah, because like uh, Mads Mikkelsen is in the first one as a tertiary character, and then in the second one's like he's the main character, and then the third one is like the dealer that's like the villain of the first movie is the main character of the. Okay, Mads so Mikkelsen. They, that that guy, the the yeah. Bond, uh, the Bond uh, villain. Yeah. Oh, yeah, fuck. I didn't even know that was him. Oh, yeah, yeah, he's incredible. I love him. I, don't um, watch him. I was showing, I was showing my daughter Empire Strikes Back when she was like four or five, and you know, so then Vader says, "I'm your father," and it was fun. I, like that was one of the reasons I want to watch with her. Like, let's, I want to see how someone who really doesn't know reacts. Mm-hmm. And so I just ask her afterwards. I'm like, "What did you think?" She's like, "He's not telling the truth." <laughs> what an interesting <laughs> reaction! No, it's just Vader's like, lying. He's just fucking with Luke. That's, That's like so the funny. the most like now reaction. Like I'm not gonna yeah. accept the reality that they gave me. Yeah, yeah. Like, what you think in the next one? It just like starts and Vader like punches him on the shoulder. Like, just kidding. Fuck you. You know. Like, <laughs> Fooled you. That's great. You totally she's thought I was your logical. dad. It's Ugh. like it's like she's the bad. He's the bad guy. He's a fucking liar. Like, well, yeah. I mean, that's thing. he lies. Yeah, I mean that you know, and that that makes sense because yeah, he's 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 not not a good person, and they don't tell the truth, you know. So it's a yeah, it's an interesting thing. I used to, I started, I was writing articles about something else for a website at the time, and we started trying to record a podcast of her reactions to like classic genre movies, and then uh, it we only did like one or two, and then the website fell through. But it was a. Uh, 
that one. I think the first Superman, something else too. I forget. But she loved Christopher Reeve. Was her Superman review? Mm. So, like, seemed uh, like you know, thought he was. Ha- I think that's the first dude where she ever was like, he's very handsome. Mm. Crazy saxophonist says somebody edited Toy Story three to cut to the credits as they're approaching the incinerator. I've seen that. That's fucking awesome. But like, that's the kind of thing, Darren, that you should you should show <laughs> your daughters. <laughs> That'd be great. <laughs> oh my god. Um, or what's that stupid meteor movie? One of the meteor movies. They're like uh, hugging Deep Impact. Maybe they're hugging, and then like that. You know, is maybe that's not how it ends. So whatever. Yeah. Did you guys watch Don't Look Up? Yeah. No, no, no. Yeah. Hmm. How was I, it? I watched. Great. I watched Licorice Pizza last night. Oh How's that? God. So I good. loved it. I thought it was fucking awesome. It's amazing. That was yeah. okay. I like like Punch Drunk Love better. I think it's a better uh, like. I had, had a better feeling of that like romance story. For like, yeah. I'd, I mean, they're both great. I. I wouldn't compare them, I guess. But. Yeah, does does Punch Drunk Love being better like bum you out on Liquor's Pizza? No, I just didn't think it was his best work. Huh? I mean, yeah. I think it might be my favorite. I don't know. I've really? I know, dude. It, it. It's it's like probably my maybe my second. Uh, yeah. I really want to see it. Yeah. I think Boogie Nights is my favorite. I, it's it's just I just love Boogie Nights so much. It's just so fun. Did you feel like? Yeah. Watching Boogie Nights makes me feel like I'm at the most fun party in the world. You know, it's just like, this is where it's at. This is like exciting. I don't know. I love it. I love it. There's I do, there's but I, I can't put Boogie Nights up at my top because it's so painful to watch. Like when it starts to get really heavy and oh, it's I like shit. I love cocaine it. and like everything yeah. gets really fuck. It, it hurts my soul. I'm like, yeah. fuck, I can't yeah. watch this anymore. But they do um, such a good job punctuating it with with crazy shit like you got the touch like that <laughs> scene <laughs> or the scene you with Alfred Molina power. and the fireworks it's fucking and when oh, I got that older and heard that was, that's a real fucking song from a Transformers movie I'm like that made it only better you know I have to say this year Bradley Cooper has really won me over I was never really a huge Bradley Cooper fan I, I didn't have a problem with him but I was never like into him as an actor and then he was so good in Licorice Pizza. I thought he was fucking awesome. And then I don't know if you guys have seen Nightmare Alley, but no, I fucking I really want to. loved it, dude. Yeah. And I, I really hate Guillermo del Toro's movies generally. I find them like just insufferable. But I thought Nightmare Alley was like so good. This one isn't uh, supernatural. It's just, a, it's just like, yeah, it's, it's not supernatural. Like a noir story. Yeah. yeah. That's cool. Um, oh, yeah. Did you see John C. Riley in Licorice Pizza? That was good. Yeah, as uh, the <laughs> I love that. Yeah. Uh, I Wait, what was he in Licorice Pizza? I didn't know that that was Philip Seymour Hoffman's son. Oh, oh yeah. Oh really? Yeah. And Rachel told me like 15 minutes into the movie because she was the, watching. The, like, the lead actor that? of that movie is Philip Seymour Hoffman's kid. Yeah. Yeah. Oh wow. And okay. Wow. She told me that, and I was like. It kind of changed the whole thing for because I was just like Jesus, like how much Paul Thomas Anderson loved Phil and you know like working with him and I I feel like he never had him as like his main star of the movie. I mean he was kind of a in the master, but like to take his son and just yeah. make this film with him just must have been like an incredible yeah. experience. And, and apparently he had to really cajole the kid into being in the movie. Like I don't know if this is true or not, but I heard that the kid he didn't even want to be an actor. Huh. Like it was not his ambition. It might still not be his ambition to be in movies, but but PTA was like, "Come on, come on, I can make this with you." I don't know. No, he was who, good. Who are the real people that uh, like like Lucille Ball? Is that the old actress in the beginning? No, it's not Lucille Ball. It's um, it's it's another older. Oh, I read an article comedian. that said it was Lucille Ball, but uh. no, it's um, and I can't remember. It's not Joan Crawford, but it's it's someone else. I can't remember it. Uh, uh-huh. And then. Who's the guy that Sean Penn plays? It's not He's playing him. William Holden, but they changed his name to like some other Daniel like Holden Daniel or, Holden. Yeah, or oh. it. It's based yeah. on a true story or something? Mm-hmm. No, no, it's it's just like he's using he's drawing inspiration from like real people and like just kind of blending his own story into it. Richard oh. Holden. And I think like Al- Alana Haim is like playing her mom sort of to him. I don't think she's like I'm going to be my mom now. But I think like he was in like, I guess Paul Thomas Anderson was like in love with Alana Haim's mom when he was a kid, like their peers are like closer to age. And so he or 10 years like, apart. 
whatever yeah <laughs> the way if you if you gender swap the roles of that movie it's just about a predator it's like you could never have a movie where a 28 year old man yeah. like ends up with a 15 year old girl and they live happily ever after like that is not gonna fucking fly right. oh someone's asking if he did y'all see like the new matrix movie anybody no <laughs> I, 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 I i had fun i thought it was it was like so stupid that i was like okay Oh yeah, really? I, I enjoyed it the second. That's how I felt the first time. The second time, I was completely on board. And your brother was texting me like, "Why don't you like it?" <laughs> when I watch it again, I'm like, "Okay, Nate, you're right." Yeah. <laughs> I, I I really dug it. The, the, I like it because it's it's so bad, or like it because it, it is a really good movie. I liked it because I thought it was cool. I thought I, I liked what they did with the story. Well, no, yeah, I mean character. like. I, I don't mean like I'm like oh this is so silly I like it for being bad I'm just like this is so silly I'm not going to take it too seriously and well, I mean, really well, think I, about yeah. the things that they're trying to the messages yeah. they have and all that well you can you know with those I mean I just get my own messages out of it like I when I rewatched all the other Matrix movies and the third one back from you know 18 years ago is stupid but like there were still some cool messages that I saw it at that time, you know. So it's like I don't know. I, I, I try not to carry too much of a burden of expectations in anything I watch, like, you know. And so here, here's a spoiler for you uh, that haven't seen it. Um, there are some characters that make an appearance from uh, the second movie, and they show up looking like the Lost Boys from Hook. Yes. So that's the movie you're going into. They that show up silly. with like, like weird, like yeah. colorful, weird theater person hobo outfits kind of thing. It's so silly. Yeah. Have you guys that seen Jupiter is- Ascending? No, I've always wanted to. I've heard it's like just insane. Oh my god, it is insane. I couldn't get through. It. I was, and I love those kinds of movies. Like I love yeah. M Night Shyamalan movies uh, and I, I, anything like. Huge budget and really bad. I'm like, yeah, I'm, yeah. I don't know why, but I'm like so interested. A, a, I, a big swing and a miss is always fun. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I and I, Sarah and I tried to watch Jupiter Ascending and it was like, so, it was so bad that like, I don't know. Maybe I need to get in the right headspace and do it again. I, but I, I haven't mean, seen it's that crazy. or uh, Cloud Atlas. Mm. I've never seen Cloud Atlas. I never saw that. Yeah, me um, neither. Do you know what I watched last yeah, I night? Huh? That was so fun. Uh, uh, Strange Days. I haven't I've seen Strange seen Days oh, since it came out. That's Justin Savakis' like favorite movie, or it was, you know, ten years ago. It's good. Yeah. It's like it's. Is it really? It's very watchable. I mean, it's like Darren. Well, Darren, do, do Darren got here. upset about. I'm here. I just gotta switch cameras. Oh, uh, okay. uh, Zach, someone's asking if you saw Old. I did. Yes, I, I did. Mad. I didn't see it. I mean, it's terrible, but it's like very watchable. I was never bored, you know. Yeah. And the ending is such amazing dog shit that you're just like, yes, yes. <laughs> Reg- great. Register your terrible. homestead. Said, have you guys seen gay porn? No. Mm. No. What is that? I'm, yeah, is I'm that gonna good? write that name down. Gay cool. porn. And I'm gonna check that out. It sounds cool. good. Scorsese. I think it's Scorsese. Um, Somebody asked if I'm getting. A Boinga tattoo, and I actually had a, I, I had an appointment today. My buddy does, he has a gun and he tattoos people. Uh, I've been meaning to get a tattoo for, in honor of Travis. Travis? Travis. Travis. Trevor. Sorry, Trevor. Trevin. I think you had it right the Trevor. first time. Trevor. Yes. Right, Trevor. Um, and I'm going to get this one, I think. I'm gonna get the cow holding oh, the Ten Commandments from... with the lightning bolts over its head. We're gonna have to put the hooves in there, and then I'm gonna. So I'm gonna get that here, and I'm gonna get like never missed below. Oh. I think that'll be good. <laughs> That's funny. I was thinking yeah, right, about getting cute. like a a sad Paddington tattoo. Oh, that's a uh, good yeah. I've been trying to figure out what I would do too, because I definitely want to do that. Well, shit, we're all getting tattoos. I, yeah, I guess. Man. I- I have to do it too then, huh? Can I do tattoos get, in London? What would Wait, be the most, we... like, like the worst Trevor tattoo you could get? Uh, uh, my hand is singing an old folks home. Or, or like his face with the words, you are my child bride. Yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> when, when someone, his like Pavarotti type you know, guy. When someone dies and people get those very uh, sincere, like, memorial tattoos, I think... 
Like, if you think about what would he be the least pleased with, you get it? <laughs> I think that's probably up there. You know? Or yeah, like Hitler rap, you know, just yeah. like Trevor with a swastika coming out of his head or something like that. It's, it's, it's Trevor dressed up as Hitler and it says, don't say it like a, and then the hard F word. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my uh, god! Jeez. Oh, the Saturday tattoo would be him with the the bow and arrow. That'd be a good tattoo. That would be a good. Yeah, that'd be a good one. Um, oh yeah, just Trevor's face, and it just says race war. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, or if it's uh, him from the Civil War, and you just have that whole monologue about the flag. Yeah, it's just really long. Like one sister, awesome. two sister, three sister. Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, there's a there's that trend of people putting like memorials for people, but as stickers on the back of their car. I've never understood that, but I feel like he would he would enjoy that. But because like, well, you're going to get rid of your car eventually. You know, it's not like a headstone. Well, you know what I have (laughs) that that could kind of do that. Did you ever do the Queefster sticker on your car, Sam? No. No. What's what's he got there? uh, Amy, Trevor's wife, gave me these that Trevor had made. Which are oh. magnets, but uh Oh they're magnets. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I guess yeah, I put them on my are car you? this way. The queefier the better. <laughs> I, I just don't want to put them on my car because if they fell off I'd be devastated, you know? Put them on your like, fr- I don't know what to do with it. Put them on my your fridge. fridge. I love that it's like I don't want to lose them. <laughs> my fridge doesn't magnets don't stick to my fridge, which is weird because it's oh. like a stainless steel fridge. Ah, you need a new fridge, there. man. Well, it's th- uh, maybe uh, yeah, right now. Right, you can either here. Here's a couple ideas. You can either uh, um, take a picture of them and make new ones. Or you could take a picture of them in case you lost those. If if it if it's like that, those specific ones are, have the sentimental value. If those have the magic, I'd say keep yeah. those and make new ones. If you're just like if you love the image. Just make sure you have. Pictures. I also don't. I don't think I should drive around with this on my car. Really? Oh. <laughs> well, I wouldn't. Yeah, man, that kind of stuff. So like, ah. Do you think you can get pulled over for that? Probably not. No, I think any what cop can they pull you over for? Obscenity. Obscenity. Yeah. Then you give the cop a bunch of shit. Yeah, I guess kids. I don't know. Yeah, obscenity, and then you have to go like. Listen, officers, is there any way we can take care of this outside of the court? <laughs> Look, I also eat ass. They also call me the aster, so maybe we could make this work. That was sexist of me to assume that the cop right was a man. I was trying to come on. I just caught myself. He says, people have hentai wrapped cars and no one's going to say anything. Huh. Okay. I don't know. <clears throat> The First Amendment doesn't cover obscenity, guys. That's like, why there's obscenity laws. It's not like the First Amendment means you can put anything anywhere. Uh, sexiest Simpsons character? Marge? I, it's funny. I was falling... Like, we watch The Simpsons sometimes as we fall fall asleep. I was like... I was kind of nodding in and out, and I, like, looked up at the TV, and, like, Marge Simpson had, like, giant tits. And I was like... What what is this? I guess there's an episode where Marge gets a boob job, and that's like the whole story of the thing. But it was like coming <laughs> out of consciousness, seeing Marge like bouncing all over. Savon, what's up? Savon, we can hear you. We can hear you. I'll text him. Somebody says Zach will jack his dog off and brag about it, but not put a bumper sticker on his car. Look, if you don't jerk off little dogs, they can get sick. Okay, that's just that's just a fact. So yeah, I know you can hear me. I just can't hear you. Yeah. What? Who can't you hear? I'm just trying to be clear. What's up, little dog? It's not our fault. He can't hear us. <laughs> yeah. Who can't hear us? We can hear each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He'll figure it out. Oh, you guys were talking about Marge Simpson porn. She did. Uh, they did a Playboy spread of Marge Simpson. They did. Yeah, what? Did they show her nipples. Years. I gotta yeah. go. Like, <laughs> she has like a sheer top on in one part, and like you see her nipples. It's so fucking weird. That's fucked up. I think what? that's like yeah. somehow like, that's more that. violating than anything. You know, it's like it's so weird yeah, because Marge yeah. Simpson doesn't have say in that. And I wonder, like, if the, which of the animators, like, got tasked to do the drawing? Like, who was it? They're like, 
okay, me, you know, me, you know like, like that, you're was the, that a great honor? If you're the Simpsons, you'd probably be like, can you guys hire your own person to draw the nipples for this? No, you know they'd be like, I will fucking do that shit. Well, you no. know, some of them, it's just like when you go like to a comic book convention and ask the artist to do... You know, you can ask the artist to do like a dirty drawing of Batgirl or whatever. A lot of those guys do that. Like at home, like they'll, they'll, yeah. they'll draw their fucking characters like naked and fucking and shit, you know, because they get curious about it, you know, whatever. So, <laughs> they get curious yeah. about it. They're like, well, you know what I mean? Like, like, if you draw Batman I for a living, see, if you draw Batman right for a living, you probably are going home at some point like, I wonder what it looks like if I draw Batman fucking Robin in the face, you know? <laughs> like, I, I'm sure they I would love to see a compilation of just people like, of like like and not to be f- like you know to, to make assumptions but like just like the nerdiest people being like um c- can you draw a uh, batman uh fucking uh <laughs> like like trevor in the the courtroom sketch like asking like the uh what, what if batman was like uh and like just cat <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know if they do that at the conventions but i think uh, maybe they do it like I think maybe they like you can like or like buy email them commission them you know? yeah but some of those guys just draw that stuff and like just put it on there you know sometimes you'll do like you know they'll just throw it on like reddit or some shit but they're like actual artists that do it and it's like okay <laughs> you know? Vaughn, can you hear us now mm-hmm Oh, oh cool. there we go. Okay, uh, hey man. Yeah. We're Was that about, awkward? Like, it's like we don't know when he comes online, and you just gotta wait for us to finish our fucking Batman porn. Hey, what if they never address me? Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What if this was the whole show? It's three in the morning. Uh, for everyone who doesn't know, Savannah, have you been on the stream before? Or is this your first time? No, I haven't. But I've, I've been oh. on. I've been on streams, just not this one. Not this one. Okay. Well, for people who don't know, this is Savannah. He is the director of the Mars movies. The yeah. The head of the animation, he does everything. He's, he's the guy. We couldn't have done it without him. Yeah. yeah. Um, all right. Thanks, buddy. Thanks for being here. See you later. <laughs> all right. Bye. <clears throat> uh, um, I don't know. We could field questions if people have it. I mean, we were talking, Savant, about maybe showing a clip, but I feel like we should wait and agree on the clip and all that I mean, bullshit. So someone, let's do it. Someone just said, time. can he draw you guys naked since we were just talking about Ooh, Savant, would you would you draw Timmy and I kissing? I actually don't draw. I'm just. Oh, I just, right. He's I just, the director. Yeah. Just yeah. try it, anyways. Let's just see what you come up with. Just me and Timmy it. French kissing. I want. I would like to see Savon's version. Clothes or no clothes? It's our fa- it, neck up because it's Twitch. We can't do. Uh, face so, but you done. work with the with the animators. You're you're their boss. How much? I'll draw uh, it. Uh, uh, Rule thirty four Mars stuff. Have you ordered them to make? <laughs> What's rule 34? What? What's rule 34? Oh, I can't believe uh, the person. Yeah. No. Kind of. Yeah. yeah. He is? <laughs> I would think that would make you not fired, but uh, Sam got there for pity. No, no. Explain Timmy. it. Explain it. Uh, rule 34 is that uh, it's the in the internet rules, it's that uh, if you can think of something there's porn of it on the internet. And so yeah. uh, rule 34 is like. Uh, Porn of the like fitness girl from the Wii, you know, and, and stuff like yeah. that. And there, there is right. She's yeah, probably yeah. out there taking yeah, it in every hole. <laughs> the office where all that stuff gets drawn constantly. The <laughs> manner of rule thirty four. Rule thirty four. Yeah. yeah. Thirty four. Okay. I guess. <laughs> so every character has their own real, r- rule thirty four already, right? Well, in our movie, there's a couple. Yeah. Oh well, yeah. Well, there is. Yeah. That's a spoiler. Uh, Ruckus Ferret says Sam self reporting here. <laughs> 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 Sam at home making the Wii Fitness Lady. Yeah. Jizzer size. <laughs> Jizzer size. Yeah. Like. I like uh, Savon, how many characters are in the Mars movie? Oh my god, I could give you a count. Probably like a hundred something. Jesus, really? Wow. I can find the count. I think it's around a hundred, yeah. Yeah, it's a yeah. lot. But they're not, I mean, there a lot of them are just kind of background characters. Um, but there's there's quite a few characters that have lines. Yeah. Mm, Here's my drawing one? of me and Timmy French uh, kissing. Just <laughs> oh, that's, pretty oh, that's pretty good. good. Yeah. Oh, really, you know really what that looks like? Good. My first thought is that could also be Mad Max Fury Road porn because it kind of looks like <laughs> Mad Max making out with a Morton Joe. Yeah. yeah.
I can see Do that. Do not yeah. let yourselves Sounds become stupid. addicted to my tonsils! <laughs> <laughs> you will grow to resent its absence. God damn, I love that movie. Sorry, anyways. Me so, too. I should know this, but how long have you been working on this movie? How oh. long has it been? Also, mean, what's it about? <laughs> should I am give I you in it? One? Am I good? <laughs> yeah, am I good? <laughs> <laughs> I think everybody's great. Uh, Come on, who's who's the best in the movie? Who's yeah. the funniest? I mean, Zach really shines as the. <gasps> I think um, that's a spoiler. Be really well, Trevor. You, you, you're supposed to say Trevor because he's dead. Do you, you have to say him now? Well, Trevor, <laughs> no, you don't have to say him. That are, that are great. Well, I mean, I, I I've come to quote more Trevor lines than I do Zach lines Ooh. while I'm doing it with it. But fuck you, ouch. dude. <laughs> <laughs> what, what what Trevor lines do you quote? I want to hear them. Uh, this will be fun. This is a good fuck, teaser. Fuck Earth all the time. Fuck Earth. Yeah, yeah, it's good. <laughs> uh, uh, Animal Jack says, "How many of the characters did the, did the Wise Kids have input on designing?" I mean, we none. No, yeah. um, I think we kind of, they kind of uh, Trevor originally just kind of let me do whatever I thought, but I, kind of, I I did show everybody characters, and they did have some notes on a couple, but for the most part. I gave I I gave you guys like a bunch of stuff basically done and then you loved them all. Yeah. Yeah. They're pretty you great. Saw, I saw like all the different versions of like Peggy Bork. I feel like you guys like drew like nine different ways that yeah. you could look. And um yeah, I, I think the best one for sure. Yeah. Yeah, we uh, we have like sketch sketch sketchbooks and pages and pages and pages of of concept stuff that are that are interesting. How uh, to see where we ended up with it all? This is a good question. Uh, how large is the cast of artists working on Mars? Oh, that's mm. not. Uh, let's see. I mean, I think I total so far about twelve to fifteen people have worked on it. Um, somewhere around there, but it, it, because we've been working on it for a year now, kind of some of them have been turned around a little bit. Some of them want to get different jobs, get better. Some of them want to get what <laughs> different. <laughs> Jobs. I'm trying to get people that are like in between, you know. Uh, sure. It's it's a it's a great opportunity though. A lot of people. I have I, actually a couple of my artists are really good, uh, really big fans of Wise Kids. So they're, oh, they're really? Really, yeah. Hmm. Well, Savon, did you work on Rick and Morty, or do I have that wrong? I worked on the pilot, uh, or okay. the pilot before the pilot, which was called Doc and Marty, ah. which is the one where they're. There's like incest going. Well, I guess back then it wasn't um, grandfather, grandson. Wait, it was. But Doc, it was for Channel. Doc and Marty, uh-huh. those are the characters from Back to the Future. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, that show blew my mind. So but I, I want to ask, uh, what are what are some of the other actors in the movie? Uh, <laughs> who who else is? Uh, well, we got to get Ron Gina. He he's he's earned right. a line, which we need to figure that out. But we know exactly. I feel like we've agreed on what line to give him, right? I feel like we've known for a year. Oh, it's the guy. It's what the Sam guy is. that's yelling at the car as as I'm driving. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, but anyway, so Ron Gina, I know you're in the chat right now. It's well, well, we're gonna make this. Oh, that pains me to lose um, that line. Like minutes worth so far. Oh, is that your line, Sam? That was, that was gonna be him. Uh, no, I mean, I I, we cut I that did scene. that line. We did chop one at oh, oh we, in the in the. Oh, you did that line, <laughs> like in the, the the animatic and stuff like that. It's my. Someone most... asked, uh, "How much underboob is in the movie?" Good question. Oh, well, we had a design once, and then you guys said put a bra on her. <laughs> no, yeah. So I don't know. <laughs> oh right, you know what? There when was... I was in Bulgaria, I remember talking to Trevor on the phone, and he was like. He, he was calling. He was so excited about the newest animatic. He's like, "It's so good, dude! You gotta watch it." He's like, "I was like, cool. Like, it's all good. You're not gonna like make changes and shit." He's like, "Well, one change that we are gonna make is the uh, sex scene is actually like actually sexy." And I was like, "Oh." He's like, "So uh, we're gonna we gotta change that." I was like, "We're not trying to give people boners." I was like, "What do you what do you mean?" He's like, "No. It's like they look good. They're like fucking, and it like looks hot. It's like it's not funny." It's like, <laughs> Wait, the sex scene I'm thinking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. <laughs> no, That's yeah. Funny. Originally, one of the characters was completely naked, and we were like, "Yeah, why don't? She, why doesn't she have her dress? Her dress is still half on." 
just hiked up. Yeah, I mean, there's not a lot of stuff like that that's happened. I feel like for the most part. And then that's up for him. like the funny thing is these conversations that like I remember that session was that was that's a fun memory is like that one session where we went into the office to give notes on the animatic I feel like the longest conversations we were having was about like how much nudity nudity to show and how much like dick jiggle I remember there was a lengthy conversation about dick jiggle at some point for the strip club scene we added a close up yes yeah (laughs) Yeah. like you just said give me a cycle of a dick like yeah, everything else concept. was like a light note and then those were like conversations <laughs> so yeah we did add some sex <laughs> yeah now people are saying but, put the on cut put the original sex scene on the on the dvd or whatever oh, yeah but it's, it's <laughs> just an animatic so it's just like a right. couple of still I, people are horny they want to see us fuck i mean i can't yeah. we gotta give them what they want oh uh, there's some stuff at the end that you'll 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 like then right wait what's horny at the end Oh, 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 there there will be like maybe a flash of something. Oh, is it or, when uh, the fin- the final thing where where my character is like watching the the deal? Yeah. Oh, I feel like uh-huh. we're gonna spoil everything. That's not a spoil. No, they're they're talking very you know. Broadly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's good. No one no one could get that. Oh, it says people jerk off to hentai. They can jerk off to an animatic. <laughs> people can jerk off to everything. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, people jerk off to fucking you know boxes of cereal. I'm sure you know. Oh, should I do another uh, dono? Oh yeah, thing probably. Here? I'm sure I'm way Wait. behind. Yeah, yeah. Let's. Uh, here we go. Hyphen Podmus in the city donated says that Tim and Eric sketch made me cry, made my cat attack the TV. Not because it was bad, but because the buzzer summoned her for a divine mission. Right? Oh, sure. <clears throat> Principal Rolls donated seventy five bucks. Thank you, Principal Rolls. Oh, says, Happy you. New Year, guys. So great to see you all again. Thank you. Good to see you. My pills are missong donated. Thank you very much. I swear to God, my messages are all mental illness and not autofill. Love your streams, old VODs, and wrecked. I've kept my fiance and I sane through a really tough two years. Keep on keeping on. Well, thank you very much. Uh, Helen Killer donated. Says, love you boys. Glad to see all your faces again to Mars. Uh, Joe Quarren donated. Says, am I violating some rule not using silly username? I like who I am, but I guess you can call me fuck my fuck, fuck, fucky McFuck face fuck man. Oh my I loved that message. I, I hated I that. I hated it. You yeah. know what? I'm over. I'm and I'm sorry. I, I, I've been dumping on people who've been donating, but the blanky McBlank face. Oh yeah. You know, like Bodie McBoke face well, or like Blotty. But like, the part of that, that, the part of that, the part of that message I liked was I like who I am. Yeah, I, like <laughs> I do too. I like that. Oh, like, uh, people saying Wild Zach getting some Wild Zach. Uh, whatever. Uh, what, did he, uh, what did Bodie McBoke face come from? It was what is that? there was um, like a boat, like a Will Ferrell thing. No, no, it was there was a boat that uh, the internet could like. They did a contest to see the internet name. It's like some science boat or something, uh, and everyone voted on Bodie McVote boat face. Oh, okay, and that was like Someone fifteen said, years ago. Back. Yeah, Wow, Wowie McLaugh. Uh, <laughs> Dollickers donated twenty. Says. I sent Zach some art this week. I made two paintings during his last Collective Soul stream, and I'm very excited for him to get it. I even sent him some fan art, and I made him a sticker. So, oh, hell yeah. I'm excited. Thank you very much. <laughs> just just so you know, uh, the, my P.O. box runs out in a week. What's going to happen? Are you going to renew it? No. I don't get anything. <laughs> You're not renewing it? <laughs> no. But what about oh, the just, uh, for like a year and a half? I did you get it. something? Did you no, get something? Yeah, some see, we've, got, we've gotten yeah, you, we've gotten stuff. Oh, not that much. It. It's like fifteen bucks I a had, month uh, or something. Who gives a shit? Just pay it. Mine is like I do a little one. I do like fifty three bucks every three months or something. So I've been keeping it. Yeah. Amazon account with Speaking the wishlist. That's still that's nope. that's money, man. I'm just gonna have everyone send shit to your house. Well, no, why, you can just why don't you me. get a P.O. box? I told you why. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of, um, I got uh, a fan. I'm John Haroon. Haroon. Been on this a lot. Uh, been in chat all the time. Sent me uh, music of his band and another band from his label. So thank you for that, man. I'm, I'm loving it so far. I'm Is it good? Yeah. yeah. It's like uh, his band's very... I don't know. I'm bad at describing music, but it's kind of got a mid 90s alts kind of 
garage punkish feel and then the other one i haven't listened to yet but it's supposed to be punk with some ska music in it so oh boy yeah. timmy's in heaven timmy in that timmy just started dancing in his living room in, in that spanking jerm spanking in the, the, the zucchini boys theme song that i made i sampled the jeff coats Get the fuck out of here, really? <laughs> yeah. I, I, I so you, you played You have saxophone. to add Timmy saying... You have to add Timmy saying, I can't hear it. I can't, <laughs> I can't, yeah. hear, I can't hear it. <laughs> I mean, I, yeah, I could. Uh, yeah, Timmy's band was called the Jeff Coats, and we need to find... Is it on YouTube? Oh, yeah, we've, we played it on this before, I think. Oh, we but have? Yeah. Or no, they put it... We talked about it once, and they put it in the Reddit, but yeah, the whole album's uploaded to YouTube. Uh, it was on iTunes or something. Is there too. a live show on YouTube where we can see you on stage? No. No, dude. I don't think anyone ever taped one of our shows. Or you're talking about a good 25 years ago at this point, you know? So I don't think anyone ever taped it. <laughs> but I was skinny as fuck. I, I had the fucking checker pants, sunglasses, fucking uh, plain mm-hmm. saxophone. And we would take the Jeff Coates horn section... What are the, the Jeff Coates horn section cheeseburger play uh, cheeseburger break? Because there was a song where we didn't do horns, so we would take out a lunchbox filled with like McDonald's cheeseburgers that we had bought earlier in the day. So they're probably like lukewarm, and we just throw them out. <laughs> the first show we taped a paint roller to a leaf blower, and then put wool, uh, toilet paper on it and like cranked it. And that was we didn't we didn't have any horn parts yet, so I spent most of the show spraying toilet paper to the audience. So you played the t-shirt cannon. Yeah. Uh, the toilet paper cannon, yeah. But yeah. yeah, cool. Is Scott... Um, I lettered in it in band. Still going? What's the one? Is Scott still going strong? Yeah, there's still Scott music now. Yeah, isn't your, is there, your, your sister-in-law is in, a, is in a ska band, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah she what are they called? I love ska band names. Uh, Half Past Two, I think. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's all I, I prefer it when they incorporate the word ska into the name. I know that. Yeah. yeah. I the wonder. Did it, I, I have to go to have the Decepticons back in the nineties. Oh. At any I know point, the Decepticons. At right, any point, do you Decepticons. think they were half past two tone? Ooh, two. T- that I would accept that. <laughs> Men, men's ska <laughs> in the what was it? Men's ska in the little pity titties. <laughs> the little yeah. Timmy Pig Dicks. It's awesome. It's, men's Sky. Oh, that song was ridiculous. Boy. He had a little Timmy Pig Dick stuck in his pants or whatever it was. Oh, man. <laughs> that guy was, you remember that song? That guy was fucking... That was brilliant. Yeah. And that's brilliant. What I it was. Pizza it was Hut or brilliant. something, right? I go to Pizza Hut in the song and something about sausage. I can't little remember. Little Timmy Pig Dick. We'll have to play it again. Uh, so, Savannah, I have to ask, because uh, I know chat probably wants to know, but... Um, and not like we have a date or anything like that, but like rough time frame that we think we'll have something. It, we'll have it complete or close to completion. I mean, I think we're 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 rounding the corner on animation. We're getting we're like we have like fifteen minutes of animation. The whole year we've just been creating assets, create uh, character art and stuff like that. So now we're animating, and we have about fifteen minutes so far. There's a whole hundred minutes total. And so that'll probably take us till, I don't know, March, April, something like that. But that doesn't include like doing music and doing a full, like the full mix and everything. But I feel like somewhere, sometime around September, we could start submitting to festivals or something. Having Ooh. screens of it. I don't know. That's awesome, cool. man. And Very now, cool. Uh, you told us when I was there, but it was like, uh, well, I guess it depends how many animators you have. So if you have like up to... 10 or how, how much like you get a minute a day or is it a minute like I mean, every day? we try to we try to animate like a minute a, a minute a week per per animator basically uh right. so three to four animators working at a time i have to ramp up we only have a couple working but we're, i'm going to add more to the team so we could start pumping it out faster wow that's crazy so an animator can do a minute a week so basically. like do, and they work five days a week right mm-hmm. so the, wow interesting yeah damn but, dude you know, i mean it depends on what it is there's there's a lot more to do around just the animation there's compositing there's yeah there's coloring and sound design and all that stuff so yeah, uh, yeah it, it's it in just the animation process it's it's about that fast yeah cool all right cool man 
So uh, it's exciting to hear it. Erdo Tail says, question for the director. Is it weird to go from a what movie like this to something family fr- friendly all of a sudden? Or do you typically stick to wild projects like this one? Oh, I'm, I, yeah. I mean, the projects I do are not family friendly at yeah. all. Like, I, <laughs> my background is working with Justin Roiland from Rick and Morty. So, like, that's, I'm, You're I'm, like, into I'm a wild guy. <laughs> uh, in fact, I don't know. I mean, the first, I think, first time I met Sam, right? We, we were working on a Channel 101 show. Yeah. Called yeah. Secrets and Stance. But and we the, used to live yeah. across from each other, but we didn't, oh, yeah. never really met. But we, like, uh, we my first lived, place in LA. We lived uh, across the courtyard from each other. Yeah, you guys could probably hear me fight with my uh, my girlfriend at the time. <laughs> didn't know it was. <laughs> didn't know it was you guys. Just assumed it was. Did you guys oh, used to get in loud fights? Oh yeah, but uh, she destroyed a lot of things. Yeah. She, she, <laughs> what was the What was the biggest, most raucous fight you ever had? What was it about? Uh, God, I I I have a friend that was that was in jail, a woman no. friend, and she. Uh called me and asked me if I could put money on her books. And I'm like, yeah, sure. It sounds, sounds like you're getting this your life. This is not what I was expecting. <laughs> <laughs> okay. so I put 50 bucks on her books and I, and, and in jail. So she can like go to the commissary and get chips or whatever. But, Sorry. But, what was she in jail for? Oh God. What was she in jail for? She was in jail for probably prostitution. Probably. So she went to jail a lot. I knew her a long time ago, and she became a stripper. Then she went and became a prostitute. She did a lot of drugs, got in a lot of trouble, and I had to basically disown her because she just she I don't know she's she's trouble. So, anyways, yeah. I, I stuck with I, I kept connected with her when I probably shouldn't have. So I kept that secret from her uh, from my oh. from my girlfriend at the time, and she found out eventually. And, and had you the- ever had you ever done it with this woman who was in jail? No. Never, 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 never. And I did have a crush on her at the time, uh, like mm. when I first met her. But it, she just became a friend. Uh, you had a the crush on her when you when you put money on her books, but yeah. yeah. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> and so she found out that you were putting money on her books, and the shit hit the fan. Shit hit the fan, and she destroyed all my Channel One One awards. Like, if you know what Channel One One is, it's, it's it's they're like joke awards, but like huh. it was my like my life's work, like awards oh. for like. A decade's worth of work that I was proud of, and she just destroyed them all. And it was in that apartment, so I'm assuming that Sam and no, <laughs> did she do it in front of you? Was it like like no. while you're watching? She was like, "Fuck you!" No? no, it was over the phone though. I heard she called me, and she was like, "Screaming!" I heard crashing, and I'm like, "Oh my god!" I How did she call- find out that you were putting money on the books? I think she just like you know she does the whole check check all my spy messages. Thing oh, on she my, snooped on your shit. She yeah. snooped. She, she found me watching porn at a certain time of the night or something, and uh, like she spilled. I mean, I don't know. There's a lot of shit she did to me. Anyways, the, that was the apartment I lived in. She was constantly yelling at me, and I'm. Sh- I swear to God, Sam heard it. I'm. Sh- I no. swear to God, it was, it was us. Do you know what I? Do you know what I did in that that apartment? Well, it was funny to me because I came from New York, where it was like every neighbor is lo- noisy as hell and you're just like all right that's just the sound of the city and i go into this apartment and one night i got drunk and i like was trying to like practice singing and playing piano when i was drunk and the next oh day i woke up and there was the angriest letter on my doorstep from my downstairs neighbor about like <laughs> there are neighbors here you have neighbors like how dare you uh, <laughs> uh. my downstairs neighbor hated me and then uh, I yeah. used to hang out with uh, our friend James and we would smoke pot on the little patio I remember one oh, time yeah. I was outside by the oh you mean on your patio on my patio yeah we would smoke pot and just sit there and like chill out and james smoked oh, cigarettes is this your apartment on canyon uh was in los feliz los feliz yeah this was the the um los feliz los village feliz. like uh, oh, by sure. the golf course on behind the, the golf yeah. course uh, oh yeah, yeah 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 yeah. okay, okay. where the cops a question <laughs> center is too i felt so bad about this i'm sitting there all stoned with uh my friend james who isn't you know the most polite person and who's definitely one of those friends that you like every like you know every 
bunch of times have to apologize about anyways uh the guy like pops up and he's looking at me all pissed and we're just sitting there smoking pot and he goes did you just throw a cigarette on my porch i was like no and james was like oh sorry oh wow like just throwing cigarettes on my downstairs neighbor's porch oh man i don't know i'm sorry (laughs) i felt awful i felt so bad Well, do we do bummer, fan art? Man. I can't believe that you're still thinking about that all these years later, dude. That's like so not a big deal. I don't know. It, it's it, a though, neighbor man. that so many you don't like, here. and then you're with a friend, and your friend's like, hey, what should I do with my cigarette? Oh, throw it on the downstairs neighbor's porch. Yeah. Uh, that's so well, shit. Well, that's how, you know, my brain does the same thing where it picks a random thing from fucking 20 years ago and you know mushes it over and over in my mind for decades convince using it to convince me that it was I, it was horrible and i ruined someone's life because of it and it's like you know something small like that you know i just think the person also already hated me right <laughs> like joe, joe Quarren says this is timmy's banana story <laughs> <laughs> that was better than the banana story <laughs> At least the uh, banana story. It, 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 at the same time, worse though because it was, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, no, I agree. I, I get it. It's uh, there is a n- both of them. Let's say both stories could workshop the ending. Yeah. Neither story ended with a big enough explosion of rage from anybody. It just kind of stopped. You know, I think is. I felt so bad. I like just, if I would have like fact. thrown a fit, be like. Fuck you! I need bananas here every day! Fuck you, lady! Fuck you! know, that'd be great. I think that's what people want. Timmy's wanted. banana story is better because it reveals insight into Timmy's mind and how he's held on to something insane for that long. Where, where Sam's story about his friend yeah. flicked a cigarette onto his neighbor's porch, I guess it also reveals something about Sam, but it's not as profound as what Timmy's. Maybe no, about yeah. us because all of us were I those question. people in our twenties where we were drunk and flicking cigarettes or whatever. We're like, nothing matters, you know. Like, <laughs> yeah. It was the question before Timmy's story, which was made what made it so yes, good. Yes, that's awesome. okay. So the half the people, uh, yeah, half yeah, the people yeah. in chat are like, "What is the banana story?" It's on our YouTube. It's, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, on, it's our on our YouTube. YouTube. You can watch yeah. The Cliff Notes is the the TLDRs. As I was saying, everybody tell a crazy story from production. And Timmy's story, Timmy, do you mind if I do this in, in five seconds? Timmy's story was one day I was recounting to a producer. The, the producer asked me at, at lunch what we like for lunch. And I said, I like bananas. And we never had bananas again. <laughs> the end. Which, you know what? It is a cute little anecdote, but it didn't work as the craziest thing, you know? Like, what the fuck is wrong with me? You know, so that's... <laughs> the, the thing is, is I was just struggling. I'm so bad. You know, it used to be... I used to be the one of us that was good at remembering. Like, I gotta remember dates we did shows or dates we did this, you know, stuff like that. And, uh, you know, when we did that record recording for the YouTube thing of, like, what's a crazy story from the show... Like, my mind just, like, oh, my God, I can't remember anything. Guys, I felt put on the spot, you know? I was like, because we're all doing it, but I'm just like, I, like, that's where my mind goes. I'm like, I felt put on the spot. I'm like, oh, God, what's something, what's something, what's something, banana story. You know? it's like, hey, hey, hey. I just went, like, and I. You don't, you don't have to explain shit. I know what's interesting, I, I know, man. I'm just trying to explain, like, that's where, that, that's what happens is that I just, like, felt like, oh, God, oh, God. I just, like, went with the first thing, which is, like, the non-craziest thing. Do you know what's <laughs> Do you know what's what's funny though is do you ever notice like like there's sometimes that like emotions and experience like emotional recounts can like get in the way of a good story because like a good story is about the listener and sometimes when you're telling a story you're you're talking about your own experience within the story and you get kind of caught up in that yeah that that's i would argue that someone who who does that a lot is not a good storyteller i think i think Right, I'm not saying that's not directed at you. <laughs> no. I'm saying that's like that's the sign of poor storytelling. Is you're like not, you're not thinking of the listener's experience, and then you're 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 fucking it up. You're getting too lost in your own emotions. So yeah, sure. And so um, sometimes talking about stuff that has like where the story is uh, connected to emotions that necessarily aren't the the the. Um, focus of the story can be tough 
You know, if you're if you're on a stream is derailed. I'm sorry, someone just said get fucked, Sam. And I like what you're saying, but it's so funny. The internet is just so horrible that it's funny, where it's like you could try and give something that's really coming from a a thought you had, something from your heart, and someone just like, get fucked. Yeah. (laughs) You guys wonder why it's been two months. Come on, show some fucking manners. That's not why. I'm just kidding. No, it's, that's not why at all. Never show manners. Hey, I want to ask something. Uh, you know, I've been doing Zucchini Boys more often, and Zach, I keep getting uh, someone that says, uh, it says like Sam Craiger from Seattle or something like that as their username. Is that your brother? Is he in Seattle? Is he out there? My brother lives in C- in near Seattle, but he wouldn't. It's well, somebody opposing somebody him. him. He wouldn't. He hangs out on Zucchini that. Boys and People. says that. It's weird. Yeah. It's, not, it's not my brother. Okay, well, he then would fuck that guy. never. Yeah, he would but, never. Timmy, my brother fucking hates you, dude. I was just gonna say that, Timmy. My brother hates you, and he hates zucchini. It's cr- yeah, like he's not into you. Zucchini. He's not into zucchini. He's not into the internet. He's yeah, no, it's not gonna happen. Um, well, while Savan's here, are there any other questions for Savan? Sorry, uh, Savan, nope. after you ha- being on here, fun? do you still like us? Yeah, of course. Oh, I mean, thank you. Um, it's been great to get to know you guys over the years. Over the year. Over the year, yeah. I agree, buddy. Does it feel like it's well, been longer than that sometimes? Well, I mean, I've known Sam for a while, and I've known Trevor right. for a while, so um, right. I just feel like we're the same people, you know, the same kind of comedy type. I have a, I have a question. Have you had to do uh, voice recordings for an animated project the way you had to do this one? Oh, yeah, yeah. Just yeah. since the pandemic, we kind of, sure. there's a whole process of doing um remote record sessions like like we did yeah we i've been doing it um actually just before mars i did a couple of projects that way and i'm also i also work on a lot i keep mentioning channel 101 but i do a thing on uh frequency 101 which is the, the audio version of it and it's we do the same thing we just like i cast my friends who don't want to don't want to risk getting covid and i just call them up on zoom and record them. They record locally and I just record them and send me the audio and then we put it, we cut it together. So yeah, it's kind of the standard now it's almost preferred. Um, but that requires you guys. I mean, you guys all had to build your own like booth, right? Like, right. Yeah. yeah. Like my yeah. equipment. Yeah. So it's Someone not says he- equipment. Oh, sorry. Uh, sorry. So these days people, uh, a lot of audio technicians will just send out like a, 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 a kit. To, to record you and then they just let you keep it um mm. uh that's that's what i've been noticing lately uh, during the pandemic that's how most of us are doing sure. uh, sound but if you wanted to go into like if you want it, there's like a lot of restrictions and requirements if you wanted to go into a, a state uh, a studio to record sure. and and sag only require like allows like one person at a, a day or something like that we wouldn't have been able to oh do my it. god that's crazy. there's a lot of requirements it's easier at this point just to do it right. the way we did so well, and plus like i remember at one point it was like well where the fuck do we send timmy you know where do we send darren like these guys are in places where there's not all that stuff immediately available so you know what do you do but uh yeah i, I had fun my daughter and i had fun like screaming in my closet you know so yeah I mean, it worked out we have really great audio like the, yeah. the, like for what it for what it was like we we captured some good stuff so someone says uh if this if this one uh if this movie does well would you do another one with us oh yeah absolutely and very intently okay you guys were talking about doing um uh, like animating Buckers and Myers, and that 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 piqued my interest when you guys were talking mm. about. It. Have you seen it? No, I haven't. But I, I I I know what you're talking about, and I know and and I'd, I'd love to just like do like a series like that. Well, man, go go hard with Buckers and Myers. Get your take of the, I mean, because yeah. a lot of it is there's there's Timmy, you know, who's like a dungeon master. So yeah. you, you'd have to do the series like in an interesting way. Yeah, um, it, it away from like Harmon Quest, which is the same idea. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, there's 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 some stuff to talk about for how we do that. But be, but animating stuff that like Trevor and you guys did together would be great. Like it's it's, yeah. it's in an audio form anyway. So I would cry. I would cry the whole time. I mean, watching that, that's it. most. Trevor most. was amazing. Yeah, that's most movies. I mean, I cried during Jaws. I that's cried. why I want to see it so bad. Um, what, Aaron? Trevor was amazing in Buckerson and Mike. He sure was. Yeah. And so I, that's what, just why I want to see it so bad. Um, yeah, so I, 
totally be just like continue let's just keep making stuff like after this is done let's we could do a thing where uh we just we don't i mean maybe this this leaves so much on the floor but uh we don't do we just do the adventure based on buckerson and myers and just try and lift as many of trevor's dialogue pieces into it as possible um yeah um yes resident steve i did say i just cried watching jaws we were making jokes about me crying during movies though i didn't actually cry watching jaws uh what was i gonna what say? i miss oh what i happened? was uh plug where, uh where? Plug, plug um frequency 101 oh yeah if you uh, we have a podcast it's channel 101 started this thing where we do audio ver- audio shows so uh, if you make a show for under five minutes um you send it to submissions at channel 101.com that's the email address and then and uh every month we have a we basically have a festival an audio festival and, and- and you have to be like a, a pre-approved to submit to that, right? You have to be someone who's no, chosen. No. Anybody? No, anyone. Any, so people any, who are watching <laughs> right now can submit to this. Yeah, you just all you have to do is make an audio show, a pilot episode of your audio show you want to propose to us for under five minutes. Send it to submissions at channel one hundred and one dot and a panel ch- uh, picks the best ones to play. And and if you in the audience votes, so if you get enough votes, you get to make your next episode. So month after month, you make episode after episode of your audio show until you get canceled. So it's kind of like a little microcosm of of Hollywood without the network, because you just submit the you submit the pilot. And if it's it's if it's funny, if it's fun, we'll put it in our show. It's like like, like a little audio festival. Cool. We've had a few uh, guests come on our, our show here, do a call in, and they just do like primal screaming and just nonsense like that. So that's probably not a good idea, right, Savan? As long uh, as I mean, it's <laughs> under five minutes, though. We I take mean. all kinds, I think. I, I mean, if, if you want to make a show, like, if it really depends. Like, if, if that's the show that you want to make, if the, the show you want to hear, submit it to us because maybe the audience is on your side and the audience wants to hear more episodes. Well, where was I when someone did Primal Scream? Was that during a Two Cuties or something, or what? I can't remember what hey, show. You remember it was, it was when we had like two ones. or three callers on, and they just <laughs> yeah. they were just screaming. Yeah, they go Primal Scream. Yeah. Yeah. I always wanted. I've been great. interested in Primal Scream as legit therapy. I think I feel like I could. Uh, I'd, I'd be interested in that. And how it can works. you? Could you mute yourself right now and try it, like for like a minute? You don't have an upstairs neighbor. Don't yeah. mute yourself. I want to hear Timmy's. You want to hear screen. it? I'm so into this idea. Will you do one, Timmy? You could like step back from the know. computer. I don't know. I mean, I don't know if I could. That's why I'm saying. Oh, you have to, to try. A yeah. primal scream is like a very private thing because I think the idea. I don't know much about it. I'm just fucking going with uh, off a of very Timmy, little. Please, thing. will you stand up? Like take it's a, five it's a steps thing back. We're trying to take all of your fucking problems, uh, issues, uh, you know, anxieties, whatever, and put it out through oh. the medium of screaming. Timmy. And now that I, now that you're you know, and I just talked about how I don't do well on the spot, and you're like, you should do this thing you oh, say is dude, personal. Dude, <laughs> I think it would be fucking amazing if you just like took a couple steps back, collected yourself for ten seconds, and fucking let one rip. It would be fucking awesome. Please, dude. I, okay, I'll do it. I should. I'm gonna turn <laughs> out yes. a little bit because some people freak out. Some people yeah, don't yeah. like. Yeah, flow. but but. Definitely stand up and go go a little bit oh, farther yeah, back so we do don't right make... here. I need to have I, I need to yeah. have my diaphragm open. Open your diaphragm, motherfucker! All right, I gotta go to the bathroom. Okay. Get all the urine out so there's no urine in my yes. voice. You know, and uh, <laughs> this is this is great. I'm into it. Yeah. No, nobody else is excited no, 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 about me doing a fucking primal scream. No, Are I you was, kidding? I was distracted. He, 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 he did kind of a voice right there, right? <laughs> what? You know. Oh yeah, that was a very racist like a voice. He did. Racist voice there. <laughs> oh, I didn't even clock that. He yeah. does it so much; it's just normal it so to me at this point. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, don't give him shit about that. Okay? No, no. Please. That will I derail want... the primal oh, screen. Yes, He's going to be such a meltdown. But do it after the primal screen. Yes. Yes. Um. <laughs> No, do not do it after, please. I don't want Why? to deal with that. No, no, Why? no, no. I'll do what it. What do you think will happen? We all know what will happen. It'll I be don't. A meltdown. 
<laughs> yes, you do. Stop being stupid. No. Come on. Oh. Wait, did you guys? You guys used to have a lot more people in in, in the members. group. Yeah, we had one more. <laughs> no, I mean, like, I'm saying like, didn't you guys have like 15 members at one point and women? Were oh, like, when we first yeah. started, yeah. yeah. Uh, but I guess yeah. they've all died. So um, <laughs> now it's, we are the survivors. <laughs> uh, That's what happens. That's a yeah. yeah. When we started, we had we we had uh, Tina, Oliver, Matt. New kid, John. Oh, John. Timmy, here we go. Hang on. That yeah. can wait. I'm so nervous. I feel like. Dude, that's gonna... why you have to do it. I, I know, but this is going to be like, uh, you know, it's not going to be pure because it's, you know, but. Do but... your best. Scream at the stage fright. All right, we will be, Timmy, we will be totally quiet until you do this. <laughs> He's muted. No! Timmy, you're muted! <laughs> we didn't hear anything! Are you <laughs> fucking kidding? I was not muted. Yes, no, we, we, heard we didn't hear, hear a thing. We, we honestly, hear. honestly. My mic's, my mic's, yeah. oh, you know what? I wonder if it red line, like, you know, I wonder if you, uh. Your mic cut out peaks. It probably cuts out peaks. I can't believe it! I, my throat hurts and I'm not going to do it. That's right how now. good it was. Oh I loved watching it, it. I loved watching it. It's great. It you know still... what, dude? It was great anyways because I very, saw uh, it. I'm like out. I'm like, like I'm very uh, uh, like spent. How do you feel? I loved it, how do you feel? So am I, do I get a show? It was under five minutes. Do I get a show? <laughs> Timmy, that was fucking great. I, have you guys I'm ever so done happy that? you did that. Have you guys that. ever done something like that? In my car when somebody like cuts me off. <laughs> oh, I do that <laughs> shit. This was like, I was really trying to like tap into, you know, like whatever I've got going on in my life, like frustrations, trying to tap into that, you know, and I, but I, uh, I definitely feel, uh, tired. I can I can tell that you weren't know, faking it because like doing anything tires me out right now. Like I'm having a bad time food wise lately. So you know, but that was like I felt like something came out, which is good. You Do know? you feel better? I think so. I feel like a little high, but uh, just screaming so you know, just well, yeah. like really, I was really trying to. You know. you probably cut it's really funny. I forgot too, my mic know. is so the problem. is My microphone's like too nice, right? It like <laughs> so it's like you know. Cuts out the shit. Interesting. Ooh, Dalek, now, go fuck exactly yourself. Primal scream for Dono. Will I? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, it's too bad you couldn't hear it because I was screaming Zach, fuck you the whole time. <laughs> hey, that's why it was so powerful. Zach! It came from. It came from honesty. <laughs> <laughs> no, never. No. Ugh. You could have used um, it for the Zucchini Boys theme. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. In the in the like very lightly in the background of Sam's song, just me like yeah, yeah. Uh, this is Discord's noise cancellation. Yeah, it's yeah. probably a Discord Discord. Thing. Oh, it's probably Discord. Yeah. Son of a bitch. Someone said, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna wait to see red and blue lights come through Timmy's window because it sounds someone thought he was murdering somebody." <laughs> yeah. Right. Wait, Sam, what's going on with you? Yeah, speaking of red and blue lights. There, I I have a light that has a setting. Oh. I did that for the comment. Observatron 9000 says, I'm doing, what did that comment say? I'm doing shadow work therapy with primal screaming and the Wim Hof vaping method, which I don't know what that is, but uh, I've, I mean, ever since I heard of primal screaming, I'm like, man, I bet that's a form of therapy that would work for me since I'm so loud and so yelly and so, you know, like project so much of my energy through my voice. I'm like, I bet that would work. You know? It's interesting. That was good, dude. That was good. Uh, was Timmy, fun. you want to do fan art? Yeah. Uh, and now, you know, fan well, art, I've not been keeping up on it, so there's probably, I'm probably missing so much. But uh, let me do some donos while you're. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, while you're I'm ready to up. do what I got. Okay, real quick. There's not, not a bunch. Darren is a poof donated. Says, hey, Darren, where's Judy? Oh, uh, she's sleeping. You want me to go grab her? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah wake her the fuck it. up. <laughs> wake that Getting high up. with dinosaurs? 
Donated 35. Thank you very much. It's Saturdays with you guys are the best Saturdays. Oh, thank you. Uh, oh, same to you. Uh, Dark Matter donated 15 bucks as for Sam's P.O. box. Ooh. Sam, you can take 15 out of the pot and put that towards your P.O. All right. oh, Honestly, we should. Judy. Oh, there's Judy. What's up? Oh, Judy. Hi, oh, nice, sweetheart. She's like, what the fuck? God should, damn it. should I just expense <laughs> um, Woolman for the P.O. box? I don't see why not. It's for whitest kids. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, do it. Mick, Mick Rav donated 50 bucks. Thank you, Mick Rav. Christmas donated five bucks. Says, Will Substack be more common from now on? Also, Zach, how's production of your movie going? Is there a release date? No release date. It's going to be a while. Um, will Substack be more common from now on? Good question. What do you guys think? I'm game. I'm game, game too. too. I, I like, honestly, I, this time, four to six LA time is working. I, if Darren, if you don't mind, I mean, because, but I, I like it. That's fine. Fine with me. All right, let's do it more often. Let's do it like yeah. every other week or something like I'd that. I'd be down. I've been doing uh, you know, I started doing Zucchini Boys regularly for December. I'm probably gonna do bi weekly for a little bit now, but yeah, it's you know, it's getting back into shit. You know? Um, say, well, Timmy, what time do you do your show? Is it usually like seven or something like that? I normally do it seven my time, which would be one a.m. your time. Mm-hmm. So that's a little late, but we could do an earlier one sometime with you guests. Yeah, somebody show. Um, we could do it. I could do a five thirty or six o'clock one sometime, and you can do some cooking because you know it was around a year ago right now when you did. Uh, you came out and we did South Dakota food with the cooking. Yeah. Cooking. cooking was good. Um, well, yeah. If you want to make that adjustment, I could be on your show. Yeah, we'll do it sometime for sure. All right. I, I do cool. want you know what, man. Uh, not to do too much. Uh, shop talk or whatever but uh i want to do one where i make pizza dough from scratch and do the whole pizza thing and i know you like doing that so maybe we can do mm. that sometime but that sounds good that. man i love I, I love homemade pizza i want some pizza dude i every time i make pizza dough it's a fucking disaster <laughs> do you do you, uh dissolve the yeast in your in warm water i don't know what i do wrong it's just a ball and i can't get it to i just pull it and it comes right back in and i'm just you know, you like make it, and there's like just a, <laughs> just like a puddle of sauce in the yes. middle. It's terrible. Do you? Uh, I bet we could we could probably hash out some uh, methods of flour measurement that would maybe help you better. That's oh, my, yeah. that my guess. Yeah, you can guide me. Like, do you sift it, Timmy? I don't sift it. Um, but a couple years back, a friend of mine from Virginia gave me a country ham which maybe zach's familiar with this but those cured hams that are hard as a fucking rock and it's like basically a project to even get it to a point where you can eat it Mm -hmm. and so he also gave me his like family's buttermilk biscuit recipe and that's the first time i've ever been told like don't just scoop your cup into the flour and pack it in you stir it up get a little spoon and spoon it into the measuring cup and it's much looser and you end up it's almost always more successful with whatever i'm making so because there's not too much flour in it you can also use a scale. You can also use a scale. Yeah. Did Kid Rock put out a new video since uh, Ain't nobody gonna tell me how to live. In another, it, it, whoa. Somebody said, have you seen the new Kid Rock video? And I know we talked about the old one on the stream. Do you, the one we, he just did like a month ago or something? Two you watched, ago? You three, watched three. Uh, Don't Look Up? Yeah. Was that supposed to be Kid Rock at the end? I don't remember. Okay. I don't know how I felt about that movie. I was no, like kind of in, kind of out, kind of in, kind of out. Eh. It's kind of. Did you guys watch the Lucy movie, the Ricky Ricardo movie? Oh, no. no, I thought it was great. How was it? It was great. Huh. Yeah, I didn't really. I forgot it was Aaron Sorkin for a sec. Oh, that's good. And I remembered at the end, so it didn't really smack of his like his normal, normal thing. It's funny. I like Aaron Sorkin, but I do also recognize why anyone who has a problem with Aaron Sorkin, I totally get it. Like, uh, I can't really defend him. I just like it. Yeah, like, yeah. Someone, uh, I saw someone tweet, uh, Aaron Sorkin knows not everything happened on a TV set, right? <laughs> and it's like, oh yeah. I guess the only thing yeah. he has is that in West Wing. <laughs> well, the, uh, what was it? Sunset Strip uh, TV? Yeah, TV show. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, what else? What else? Come on! No, what about Steve Jobs? Radio, oh, or not, yeah. not radio. Uh, news, uh, news newsroom. Room? Yeah. That's a TV. That's show. That's a TV, buddy. <laughs> also sports. <laughs> the sports. What about? Yeah. So you're saying you wanted to do like? 
Like, I, I think it'd be interesting, like, the Aaron, you want to see, like, the Aaron Sorkin, like, Viking movie, right? Or, like, a cowboy movie. No, I guess, I guess, yeah, social network. Oh, my God, and... could you imagine an Aaron Sorkin cowboy movie, just, like, two cowboys, like, rustling cattle? <laughs> They're just, like, would walking be... really fast, like, we gotta get these cows. Would it be similar to the dialogue from the Deadwood TV show? Probably not. They would Probably all have, not. they'd all have the same line. Have you ever seen that, that he reuses the same lines and everything? No. Where like there's there's all these montages of him having the same lines that popped up in West Wing, pop up in Newsroom, and like he'll use a line three times. Oh, oh really? Yeah, <coughs> on different shows. Hey, uh, should I do fan art before Darren falls asleep? Yeah, yeah do it. Yeah, yeah. What? Uh, how do I do it on Discord? Same. Th- there's a a share thing. A, a, you you know, uh, and I see I know at the that, bottom it I says know. share your screen. Oh yeah, duh. Jesus Christ, sorry. Alright, um... I'm gonna do... Why isn't this open? Hold on, sorry guys. There it is. Okay. Alright, here's the fan art. Play the play the theme song. Wait, is it up? I think Fuck. so. Is it up now? I don't know. Okay. Did you show... I thought I shared it. Yeah, it's up. It's up. Okay. All right. Uh, here's Weedable. Uh, be young, have fun, stay cool. That is from Opus, yes? Uh, I'm not seeing it. Hang on. I'm not seeing it either. Uh, what is it? I have to click on watch stream. Hey, yeah, on, watch on your stream. Discord, are you... Can the fans see it? Be no. young, have fun, no, stay cool. Stay cool. Is it okay? Yeah. Well, we could we could did, skip it. Are we all good or what? No. I, no, no. I mean, I, are you? Did you hit share screen? It's not showing up for me. I, I yeah. see it. I see it. Yeah, Darren can see it. And I don't see it. To, shot. I'll try it again. I'll try it again. I'll try it again. Come on. Oh, wait. You know what? No. Did it just work? Now everybody got to work wait, and I stopped. No. Yeah. No. Yep. Welcome back to day. Can you? It's on the internet. Okay. Doing it again. Here we go. There we go. Everybody got it. We got it? Yeah. Yeah. Got it. Okay. Here is Weedable on Reddit with Be Young, Have Fun, Stay Cool, which is uh, Tanzig Nordic's line from Opus. Yes, right? Very cool. Um, trait music with a... Oh, come on, computer. There we go. Oh, So they also turned this into a GIF, which is madness, so I didn't do that, but they, they made a Photoshop first. Yes. Which I'm not quite sure... Is that is it happier with your mouth open? Yeah. No, because he has a hat on in that. I don't know what that is. PCP. That could be it's any a, sketch. That's basically any whitest kid sketch ever. Yeah. Right, yeah. Trevor, Trevor <laughs> the one with the yellow. You're right. Yeah. yeah. The one with the yellow. Uh, <laughs> this is cool. God says wash your hands. That's funny. Uh-huh. Um, from TPUIG. And, and for people hoping their fan art shows up, uh, I didn't go to every the Twitter and Discord stuff yet. Uh, I'll get I'll get to it. This is a, just a little bit of catch up. We'll see. Uh, Pickles Paints with... Uh, this is great. I don't know if we showed this last <laughs> oh, time. Cool. I've never seen this. I love it. Experiment. That's cool. funny. That's the most innocent whitest kids thing I've ever seen. Yeah, totally. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 like inferred coming. Nothing. Like no, that. nothing. Good, wholesome entertainment. Uh, Marsdo 99 with this very bizarre drawing of me. Timmy's zucchini. Wow. Farm. What's going on with your legs there, bro? I think that's a diaper. I think I'm wearing yeah. a diaper. Is it, For is sure it's a diaper. Why? <laughs> Why, Timmy? For sure it's a diaper. Why? Is that is that know. an attempt at like a boinga too? Like Possibly? Cause the are you saying because the broom handle kind of looks like a wiener? Yeah. On the end? Yeah. yeah. Very creepy. This is a very creepy picture. Yeah. yeah well, whoever did this is gonna murder you. <laughs> yeah, well, I had a good run. <laughs> Um, okay. Did I? Okay, Morning I Beers. Favorite. They made this sticker. Of the year so far. What that art was? Yeah, the last one. Yeah. 
So Morning Beers made these stickers, and he didn't even they didn't even plan it apparently, but they it does actually fit on a bottle of Jack, so that's pretty funny. Cool. Immediate incident uh, drew this of us streaming from last time. <laughs> so ah. there's that. Very nice. I like Sam's headphones. Um, ghoul brains. Uh, okay, so they said <laughs> that this was based on something from the August 1st <laughs> self suck, which was the one with me, Sam, and Trevor, and my parents' dogs. I don't remember this conversation. Do you, Sam? Is that the uh, Gungan? The Gungan. Does so that- it's, a bo- it's, boss, it's Boss Nass. Boss Nass doing Boss from Phantom Menace doing the Janet, Janet Jackson the Janet Jackson cover. Oh my god! With, Why is there a robot hand? But whose hand is I that? I love it. It's like an evil monster hand and a robot hand. Boss Nass, whose hand is? Were that? you guys talking about this or something? I, I think we were. Have. Yeah. Have you but watched that? Ep- you should watch that episode. It was good. Yeah, that episode is fucking bananas. <laughs> this was from Buckers and Myers? No, this was no, 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 from, from uh, The Last Self Suck. Oh, crazy. It, which was August oh, 1st Luke's was just me, Trevor, hand. and Sam. It's, it, that was with the fat cat and all that stuff. It's oh Luke's God. robot hand. Yeah. Oh, it's Luke's robot. So it's Luke, his robot it's hand. Luke, okay. yeah. It's Luke, uh, yeah. It was with Carlotta. I think that the skinny hand on the left, not to be too critical, it looks great. I love it. <laughs> I mean, the boss nass and the tits are the two most important parts of this idea, and they look phenomenal. You yeah. Know? So, very good work. Uh, Goulbrains also did this one of peppermint, which is amazing. So. <laughs> and. <laughs> oh, wait, I, I, I just noticed that, that she's. Sorry, sorry, wait, sorry, wait, sorry, go sorry. back. She's shitting. She's shitting on, uh, on the axe. Uh, on the axe. On. Um, what was my character's name? Oh, yeah. uh, Bobo. On Bobo's, yeah. oh, Bobo. uh, Bobo's ass. Her tongue's in the door. And this is great. Uh, I've been I've been playing Skyrim as an orc character who is a female named Peppermint, and I can tell you that the other axe she's holding there that's uh, Skyrim accurate uh, orc battle axe. I love this. Uh. Yeah, and I love how the tongue is going around, going into the door there. Yeah, that's yeah. Bad. cut her hair off. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's got all that. She's oh so wow, good. man, this is this is fucking awesome. Yeah, yeah there's underboob, and most importantly, yeah. there's underboob. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's canon. Job on a movie. Yeah, yeah seriously. <laughs> That's great. Uh, so Dolphin <laughs> Wizard drew these two sketches of Trevor. Cool. <laughs> oh, cool. <laughs> Very cute little sketches. I like the nose. Uh, they also did this of me, which is phenomenal. Uh, because of I love Muppets and I uh, have the cooking show. So this is like that's my kitchen. And uh, that's me as a fraggle. So Brad, yeah, sweet. It says ska on my shirt. <laughs> I don't have bare feet when I do the show. Maybe I should. Maybe people will be into that. <laughs> you also wear cook. pants, right? Yeah, I know that's what you're pointing out. <laughs> well, I don't. I usually wear shoes. I should say. Well, I think I, I think I thought that the fraggle's little furry pubic area was some sort of pants. I don't know. <laughs> I guess I was wrong. Anyways. Okay, uh, here's uh, Ms. McGorry. I like this style of art. I think that's cool. Like, scribbly, whatever you want to call it. I like that. Uh, Horse of the Stegosaurus. What else we got? We got... uh, Oh, this is crazy. So this is obviously a PCP jug reference, but it's made out of uh, the name of every sketch from all five seasons in No order. way. Yeah. Look no at it. In order. Yeah. That's crazy. We'll zoom in, man. It's it's nuts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my okay, god. Okay, so let's zoom in a little bit. Look at that. Pregnancy test Hitler rap. Timmy Puss's pants, Alcoholics Anonymous, Lincoln, Pizza Lincoln Pizza. What? Pizza Pizza Bagels. Pizza Bagels. Pizza Bagels. Pizza bagels. Pizza bagels. bagels. Okay. Sexy fawn, oh new God. thing, get a new daddy. Isn't that amazing? Let's go to Dude, the end and see. I want this. <laughs> yeah, this is great. Okay, so we got uh, cactus wasp wow. dinner, civil, civil war, war on drugs. drugs, and Timmy Future. I was just trying to remember the last episode. A thousand dice. That's crazy. Yeah, wow. That's, how did they know awful. to? How did they figure out how to space it correctly? How did they know? Yeah. Like it's got to be this. Got to be the density or. Whatever the fuck, the Kearney. One of those and, times we, you know, probably every uh, once in a while we run into like true talent and we're like, how does talent work? I think, I think <laughs> you'd probably like make it in a like a, a, a words document. Dollicker says, Zach, I made that and I sent it to you. Oh! Oh! 
I'm oh, pumped, man. Yeah, I'm putting dude. this up on the wall. That's great. That's fucking rad, dude. Um, here's 17 Park C. Okay, this I know we don't always what do the, the Photoshop fuck? thing. So what they did is they did they morphed all five of us together, and this is the person. And we're that beautiful. Came out. Yeah, oh we're not bad. God. Somebody, somebody, oh this from the whitest kids Reddit. And somebody said, this looks like one of those celebrities who's only famous because their parents are famous. <laughs> yeah, this this person looks like a fucking douche. Yeah, this person. Yeah, yeah. And well, <laughs> well, and on that note, someone said it looks like, who's that Who's that Chris guy that just got uh, canceled for being a fucking creep to underage girls? Chris, the comedian Chris, uh, Chris D'Elia. D'Elia. Yeah. yeah, they said it looks like a fucked up version of Chris D'Elia. This, this person <laughs> looks, looks like, like a fucked up version of this. They look like they say, this person says, do you know who I am pretty regularly? <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> it's funny. It's like because the, and they put this person in Trevor's like hair jacket and glasses and all like that's how Trevor would would walk around. Trevor right. was not a douche, but when you see someone else wearing that and like doing the same thing, it's like wow, how did Trevor pull this right. off? Like, right? Yeah, yeah, that's a great point. Yeah, <laughs> I think you could. There's fan art. I will have more for next time. Thank you, everybody. Good work. Thank you, Timmy. Good job. I think I think uh, with Trevor, okay. you could just see that, like, you know, like it wasn't like he wanted to wear this stuff. It's like he ha- you looked at him and you're like, oh, that's the only shirt he has. Yeah, you're like, well, so oh, awesome. he needs he I needs the glasses to hold this hair out of his face. <laughs> yeah, it was really when just utility. Little, like when I wrote my memorial post about Trevor, like one of the things I said in it was just like, you know, uh, a lot of his fashion sense was just like promotional clothing that he had. <laughs> Like things yeah. that people just gave him from like yeah. the show or from other work, like whatever. It's just like, oh, I, like he just kind of like would walk home in these clothes and that's what he owned. You know? One yeah. of my jackets was something that Trevor made for the show I was working on with him for uh, Just Roll With It. We had yeah. this, uh, what was it, the, the Wu Tang Clan symbol? Right. It had J R W I in it. Yeah. Like my favorite jackets. <laughs> like, how does a good show do this as swag for the, the crew? It's weird. It's funny that, yeah, Trevor would always just wear whatever was given to him. But you know what's funny is I gave him for his birthday a shirt <laughs> that I bought for him that I thought was going to be like the best. It was of Dennis Rodman naked on all fours with like tiger stripes on <laughs> on him, like looking at the camera. And it said take a walk on the wild side and it was like a shirt that was like dennis rodman like was selling it was like that's he a real shirt it was, cool. yeah, it's a real it was shirt, a real shirt. Yeah, and yeah. i was like trevor's gonna fucking love it. and he never wore it once <laughs> i think i i think there might have been a th- like a thing where amy was like don't wear that <laughs> <laughs> you're not wearing um, that uh, Not to throw any under the bus, but that black and red, that black jacket with red detail from Rockaware, that Dame Dash, whoever from Rockaware, <laughs> oh my God, he would wear that Rockaware jacket. And he jacket. wore it until it fucking fell apart, basically. Oh right? God. I mean, the guy had it on. I mean, when he, when I think of him, that like it's that or that stupid tan corduroy jacket, which was probably also given to him, you know. So <laughs> that Rockaware jacket, man. <laughs> He had this this leather jacket that he wore all the time. I hated that jacket. It was and terrible. It was this leather jacket, and he like wore it for like a year straight, and then finally someone at her work was like, oh, there's my jacket. And it was just a jacket he took from the lost and found. <laughs> <laughs> and they were like, ah, uh, yeah, I guess you can keep it. It's so fucking Trevor. That is like... <laughs> yes, that is... I had an Indian motorcycles t-shirt, like when we were like really young that I stole and uh but I had it for years and then like I lost it somehow for years and it was one of the few shirts where it's like I fucking where's my Indian shirt what the fuck and then we're like in his apartment and I like found it in his dirty clothes pile and I was just like this is mine he's like I don't think that's yours I'm like this is mine dude <laughs> dude there's a few shirts I like that disappeared I wonder if they were just that's where they went there and then yeah. not that he ever wore them they just ended up in a pile yeah. in his room you know yeah. uh the oh, clothes man. pile when we, when we were roommates, yeah. we were in, we were roommates in the same dorm. For anyone who doesn't know, and uh, he was my dormmate. He had a pile of clothes that was just on the ground, t- 
taller than the mini fridge, wider than his bed practically. Just a ju- it took up like all of the space, just That's a pile so of dirty clothes. And he would never put it anywhere. So his clothes would just be dirty and he would just pick through the pile to find like the least dirty one. He'd do laundry like every three to four weeks. And then and he'd, would, just, he'd wash and dry the clothes and put them back in the pile. And just dump them right back in the pile. And I would be like, Trevor, please, dude, can you please? <laughs> Like, get rid of the pile so that we can have, like, some space. And he'll go, like, mm, well, well, he never did it. The whole time. He never, ever cleaned yeah. it. it but then, the entire time. but, I mean, who's who's laughing now? He never had to fold laundry. Not once. Yeah, who's laughing now? <laughs> now who's laughing, Zach? <laughs> Maybe the moral of the story is you should do your laundry. Yeah. <laughs> Life hack. Well, the worst is I'm guilty. I'm still not very clean. So, like, I, I don't know how you guys are, but when I go to bed, I, like, take my clothes off and I yeah. throw them on the ground yeah. next to my yeah. bed. 100%. I get in bed. And it'll it'll accumulate over a couple of days sure. until it yeah. looks kind cool. of like that. And then I feel terrible because I'm like, I know yeah. how gross it is to be living with someone's dirty clothes pile about, on your About a, a few days or a week that I'm like, ah, I better pick this shit up. Yeah, I, try and get, I try and get good about yeah. doing the easy task of, like, picking the clothes up off the ground and moving them to the hamper yeah, like not, not putting hard. them in the, the hamper the night of but like the next day right. being like just throw that yeah, yeah. It'll be- yeah. you know what i do is like for my work shirts and stuff that i hang up like if i don't get to it that day they'll often like lay at the foot of my bed like laid out ready to be hung up and just like sometimes when i finally get to whatever shirt and wear it i'm like oh it's still laying there <laughs> wait so you'll sleep with clothes laid out on the bed no, like, I, I have to put, like on the floor at the foot, oh. at the foot of my bed, oh. not on the side. No, no. I have also, the problem that's, where I, just, I keep wearing the same outfit, like the same shirt for like three or four days in a row. In a row? Like, anybody else do that? Like a like an undershirt or like a? You mean yeah, like like, like a t shirt? You know what's funny is yeah, I mean, how do you in smell the right now? Do you not yeah. shower? No. You shut the fuck up, Darren. <laughs> <laughs> There was there was a period in my twenties where I would notice that like I would frequently like you know I'd get wasted and pass out in my t-shirt and underwear and then in the morning I'd always of course I'd put my same pants on and I would just keep the shirt I was wearing on and then I would put on clean socks and my shoes and it was like a very frequent thing for me where I'd be like walking around and be like the only clean thing I'm wearing is my socks like everything else is dirty. <laughs> That was yeah. that was like a normal thing for me and my. Oh, that's what I do. That's what I do. Yeah. You ever notice that you wear the same stuff every day of the week? Like, there's a shirt I put on that I like. Wh- ever every once in a while, I'll notice I'll be like, I wear this shirt every Tuesday, and I'll clean it and stuff. But I mean, like, I just reach for the same. I don't know if it's a psychological thing or what, but like Tuesday I morning, I have that. Reach yeah. for this shirt. But it's different. But we're different that way because I have more than seven shirts. <laughs> Timmy has more than seven I, shirts. Th- wait a minute. You think I have seven shirts? <laughs> yeah, right, right, right. Timmy has and, and never thrown asterisk, a shirt the away that do not in have his animals life. On them. <laughs> yeah. What, Sam? Timmy has never thrown a shirt away in his life. <laughs> There's, uh, dude, I have some t-shirt. I still have the butterfly shirt that I, I, I wore it all the time, even before I moved to New York, and it's in season one. I still fucking have that shirt. Yeah. That's crazy. Devon, what do you think of that? I, got, I gotta go. Yeah, it's getting nice for Darren. All right, Darren, go to sleep. All right, buddy. Bye, Darren. Let's wrap it up, guys. This was good. It was fun to see. Do we have any donos that have come in? Oh Oh, yeah. Good question, Sam. Hang on. I think Um, five thirty. My daughter for this. I'm I'm gonna go start my car. I'll be right back. (laughs) Oh my god. Oh no, I don't think we do. I just checked. You did? Yeah. The last dono was uh, will self suck be more common from now on? Cool. All right. All right, dudes. Thanks, everybody. Cool. Uh, why did Timmy? Timmy! Timmy! Oh. We're gonna we're gonna sign off, dude. Oh. Thanks for coming I out, guys. I still had a few minutes. I was gonna start my car. No, no, no. All right, cool. Savon, thanks for hanging, bud. Savon, thank you so much. Thanks for the information. You should come back. Absolutely, yeah. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Uh, Savon, who should we raid? Anyone you know that we should raid? Oh shit! Who's online right now? Let me see. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna hop off too. All, All right, right, guys. Exactly. Everybody in chat, thank you so much for hanging out with us. It was really great to see you guys, and uh, I I think this should be more frequent. I agree. Yes. And yeah. uh, we'll love you, dudes. Weeks. Love you, buddy. Peace out, my friends. Love you, Zach. Love you guys. Bye. 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 I'm gonna leave too. 
Timmy, so listen to that song. Tell me what you think. It's your new theme yeah, I'm, song. Yeah, I'm going to. Sorry, I didn't. Sorry, I fucked up during. No, it. it's okay. And, uh, but soon oh. for chat and for the people that know about it, uh, the new computer will happen soon, and then it'll be fucking party time. Yeah, are we I'll gonna do a? To are we gonna do a computer build stream? I want to do a build stream for sure. Same. I think it'll be fun. So. Love it. All right. Good night, guys. Bye, Savan. Yeah. Bye. See you later. All right, Savan. Who should we, who should we raid? Anyone? I, cool? I mean, no way. Follow is online right now. Yeah, but that's kind I of use, my problem too. Well, but, but let's pick someone out. I, oh, I always look at um, who's who's doing Stranded Deep. Have you played that game? Uh, I think I have that game, but haven't played it. I think I like we got it Search for free is, on yeah, something. Just raid them. Strand Stranded Deep. Uh, okay. Let's see. Yeah, that pl- that game's awesome. You just like get lost in the middle of a the ocean, and you just like paddle to an, an island and try to try to survive. Like you build your your shelter, you go collect a bunch of stuff. All it's right. really great. You build your own house, you build your own ships, you build like a helicopter, fight a bunch of sharks. It's really this guy's fun. got twenty eight people watching him. Ob Sobi, I lo- I love Sobi. You know who loves Sobi? Travis. Who's Travis? The guy that was on our show. Oh, Who okay. worked with him? Uh, Travis. Uh, yeah, tra- did I get that right? The the whole the chat all day has been tell- calling me Travis. Oh, you're the new Travis. I think they've been saying. Okay. <laughs> I, um. They said I didn't age well in the chat. <laughs> oh no. Because that that's horrible. Because the real bad. Travis did not age well at all. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> oh, so sad. All right. Let's see. We're Obi Sobi. All right. Let's see how this raid goes. He's playing Stranded Deep co op playthrough. Uh, he's going to get like a thousand. He's, he's, yeah, he's going to get a bunch. <laughs> All right. Thanks, guys. Uh, fun, fun stream. Fun hanging out. Thanks, Savan. Yeah, thank you. Uh, and check out. Mem- uh, make sure to chat. Check out uh, frequency frequency one hundred and one, and you can submit and be a part of it. And yeah. Uh, talk to you later. Bye.